Hey everybody, I'm Loki Hates You, and this is Dimension Dorks on twitch.tv slash nerdbotmedia. We are going live, and we're going to introduce you today to a new adventure, and of course, a new party. So, uh, let me get this music turned down just a second here, and we're going to start introducing our, our very special guests. <sighs> Let's start over on the right uh, with our best good nerdbot friend who broadcasts on Sundays with Jack of All Nerds, Mr. Michael Maxwell. Oh, hi. How, How are you? you? That would be me. I'm, I'm well, thank you. Thank you for having me here. And thank you for coming out tonight. Uh, you all, D and D? Are you kidding me? Well, that was all that need to be said. I'm not kidding you. Okay. Okay. I'm serious. Fine. We're this, doing this. I don't this have to is a very this. serious podcast. There's no joking <laughs> That's right. allowed That's whatsoever. Right. Tell it down. I didn't sign up for that. <laughs> uh, so, Michael, tech, tell us a little bit about uh, a little bit about Jack of All Nerds. What you guys do? Uh, yes, we stream on the uh, Nerdbot Facebook Live on Sundays from 7 to 8:30 p.m. And we are kind of a variety show where we talk about all things nerd related. Comics, movies. That's pretty much it, really. What was, it's mostly movies. What was no. the big subject last week? Last week, we had, uh, because of the, I don't know if you guys have heard about, they did the comic version of it, of Batman Ninja Turtles, uh -huh. and then they have the, movie, the movie that's coming out, the animated yeah, yeah, film. Yeah, 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 yeah. What? Oh, yeah, dude. Okay, I got it. Let's get it. Come on. Shit. So we decided to uh, do mashups, like the team-ups that we wanted to see, but the characters had to be from different comic book universes. Oh, all right. Yeah. That one really comes well, when they do that. Well, guess what? We're not doing D and D tonight because we're going to do that instead. That sounds yeah. like a lot of fun. In the Gotham universe, he's going to be a toy. I'm Leo. He's Mike. <laughs> which one is Raph and which one is Donnie amongst you two? I'll be Donnie. Yeah. Yeah, classic. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of which, uh, let's let's talk about Leo. How's it going, Leo? Hey, man, how's it going, man? <laughs> I, I mostly get to see you at conventions. Yeah, I think this is the first time. Well, or like a karaoke event. Yeah. Nerd bot. Yeah. Every once in a while, sure. Yeah. Uh, so. Uh, I mean, what's what's coming up? Like, you're so busy. I see you everywhere. Yeah, man. Uh, I'm doing a lot of stuff with Disney. That's my main jam. Um, I just funny. came back from a crazy Disney. They sent me on a cruise to the Bahamas. That was nuts. And uh, later this year, I'm going to be doing some more interesting things with the mouse. So, uh, NDA. Can't discuss. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Already, I'm, the mouse there's, is already here. Yeah, there's there's right. snipers. There's a red dot on me snipers somewhere. Snipers everywhere. <laughs> you're already <laughs> breaching <laughs> contracts. <laughs> I'm innocent. I'm innocent. Well, Ghost is haunting me, man. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you uh, as well for coming out tonight. Thank you, man. Thanks uh, for having me. Next up, a friend of a friend that I didn't even know was a friend of a friend. <laughs> uh, but I of heard any friends. Yeah, I heard that you were into D and D, so I gave you I gave you a message, and here you are, Mr. Daniel. The rest is history, Mr. Daniel Munoz. Okay. Glad to be here. Um, now, I actually, I don't know much about your background. All we've ever really talked about is, are, do you want to come over to my show <laughs> and, like, hang out? But Who do you know? I have a lot of things going on. Tell, tell me about all of them. <laughs> so I actually hold a, host a podcast called Movie Menu Podcast. So awesome. Uh, we do movie reviews, movie news, interview local filmmakers. You could check that out at moviemenupodcast.com. Um, I also do theater on the side. Right now I'm crowdfunding for a theater festival that I'm working with Brown and Out, uh, go to supportbrownandout5.com. Uh, check it out. It's uh, for Casa 0101 in Borough Heights. So, yeah, the the LA sort of local theater scene. There's so much and so many people doing so many things. It's always cool to like hear about like real projects that yeah. like real people are working on, and it doesn't have a billion dollar budget or something. <laughs> I've heard of those. Yeah, <laughs> it's a lot of fun. Oh, yeah, you hear about that over yeah, at Disney? Oh, <laughs> uh, you know about that? So do you work on like Hamilton or small projects? Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so you're the, no, the little guy, the <laughs> indie, <laughs> uh, indie film. <laughs> well, again, uh, thank you as well for coming out tonight. Glad to be here. And uh, finally, but not finally, I'll Candace. It. <laughs> Is it Dovey or Dovey? Dovey. Dovey. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, oh, that's what she likes us to think. Oh. <laughs> so, uh, Candace, welcome. I mean, do you have anything you want to plug or like? Uh, are uh, no. Yes, but you are a normal person. You would like to plug my <laughs> podcast. Yes, no, but you I'm are not. a DM. Yeah, I actually DM a campaign that I've been running with Danny. Uh, a year, almost a year. It's been a almost year. Almost been a year. So it's like the longest campaign I've been in. Uh, <laughs> and I'm getting to DM and it's awesome. So um, it's rare that I get to play. So this is nice. Um, yeah. 
Um, I also work in theater. I'm a technician, so being in front of the camera is a little weird. But I, for D&D, &D, I think you're doing great. <laughs> you're do, you're, you're, you're natural. You're ready for your close-up. <laughs> so, uh, Producer Tim, I'm getting texts right now. Uh, let's get a little less on Mike and a little less on Leo and a little more on Candace, just so we can, so can I'm hear perfect. Lynn's voice. You are perfect. Yeah, yeah, it's because I host a podcast. I know. Uh, <laughs> we're going to deal with that the whole episode. <laughs> uh, so the, pr the premise of the show tonight is yeah. that uh, you guys are getting tossed into sort of this homebrew world uh, that we've been sort of creating uh, on Dimension Dorks. And uh, yeah, w w you can play it however you want. Uh, you know, Candace and Daniel, you guys kind of play in a D&D &D campaign together. You can play your characters like you know each other, or not. You can act like you're from this world and you know what the hell's going on, <laughs> or not. Uh, but I'm going to give you a brief rundown, and then we're just going to get started. Uh, and let's begin with that. So, let me get this music down just a little bit. Let's set the mood, baby. Yeah. In the quiet town of Pineview, Pine. which abuts the slightly larger town of Dirt Shallow. Uh, there is a small building, uh, and it is a place well known to adventurers like yourselves, a place where you can go to be assigned a job which you may take for fortune, for fame, for glory, anything you want. And you know what? I'm not even going to run too much into the politics of the place, but I will tell you this. The land is in turmoil. Mm, classic. As Prince Lucivius III has just been assassinated by a mysterious group of dastardly would-be guards within his own home, within his own manor. And so you have been assigned the task well, you haven't been assigned any task yet. You're just, you're just out trying to get some money. So let's have everyone roll initiative to see who gets introduced first. Um, and you can add your dexterity modifier. Well, I'm not getting any sound effects here. Oh. Oh, no. Oh. What do we got? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got it. Just go first. Sure. Just go first. Did you roll that too? Yeah. We both rolled a 19. Yeah. Oh. Wow. Ooh. 15. We're best friends from college. <laughs> Classic Ninja yeah. Turtle move. Classic bros. <laughs> All right. So you both, you guys both got 15? 19. Oh, don't got don't it. sell us short over yeah. there. Okay. We've with got the, 19. With the modifier, it's a 23. Oh, oh somebody's no. got oh. a modifier. No, 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 no. Actually, yours is only uh, a 22. 22. Hey, man. Oh. Okay. Oh, I got to point out my <laughs> shortcoming. I was slightly better in gym class. What can I That's say? right. You did climb that rope really well. Okay, we got a 23, we got a 22, uh, how about... I got a 15. Oh, you got a 15. Yeah. Oh, okay, hold on. I've done something wrong then. That's horribly, a 22, horribly. and that's a 15. Cool, and how about you, Candace? 12. It's a 12. Let me make sure. You did your best. You did your yeah. best. All right, so... It's backwards on there. Yeah, uh, I'm Kaylin. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm it's switched on the screen. I don't know. Really in in the quiet in the quiet town of, of Pineview, there there is a small establishment, and adventurers approach from from all. This is supposed to be a fifteen, from all directions. The first of which is a, a handsome man. His locks are braided. You got the twenty three, right? I Leo, know. no, you, he did. I did. Oh my God, Michael! No, I I know. Mind. He's not a handsome man. <laughs> <laughs> he was handsome before you came around. Absolutely true. He used to be a handsome man. Um, I gotta get my prosthetic on for this. He's gotta get his prosthetic on. All right. Sounds like me with my wife. Jesus. Yeah. All right. Oh, wow. um, is this the right guy? That's not the right guy. This should be the right guy, right? No, that's not the right guy. Oh, that's your wife. Oh, okay. My wife. <laughs> my wife. <laughs> All right. He approaches and he opens the door to the Pineview Inquestlement Center. Upon entering, he sees four guests. Oh. He sees four employees of the Inquestlement Center, each having a slightly different personality. Roll a d4 to establish which desk you will approach, which one you get a better feeling from. Oh my God, I love this. One. <laughs> one. Very one. nice. You approach. That's numero uno for our 
French speakers. And a rather <laughs> smug looking young gentleman. I love smug. Uh, introduces himself and he says, uh, <laughs> uh, Welcome to the Equestlement Center. <laughs> I guess you look a little like an adventurer. <sighs> Is that right? Um, I like to think of myself more as a treasure hunter, really. Oh, well, at least you might know your ass from your elbows then. <laughs> uh, well, you listen, hipster. if you're looking for a quest assignment, there's uh, two questions you have to take. The pretty standard, um, I, you know, I aced them the first time I saw them, but uh, I'll have you take a look anyways. So if you could take a look at this chart, um, and tell me which of these four things interests you the most when uh, when questing. Um, well, I'm gonna have to go with uh, A. Okay. Uh, and um, A. Well, I mean, the, the best adventurers usually choose something that uh, indicates a little more valor, but uh, I guess you know. I'm not familiar with that word. What? Everyone's welcome. So, uh, if you could go ahead and tell me which of these four options appeals to you best, Ooh. Um, mm. I'm gonna go with uh, A. Okay. And. Um, a. Double A. <laughs> Standard. <laughs> you would. Well, listen, uh, I mean, there's a few different quests going on right now that are for, like, your type, but uh, I'll have to see what best suits you, so if you could just go ahead and uh, wait over there in the corner, or, you know, just mingle or whatever, like, <laughs> I'll get you something. Yeah, I'll just go mingle then. Okay, well. <laughs> mingle, mingle, mingle. Uh, bye. So, uh, that, that has happened. Uh, next up, I do believe, uh, this time, a handsome gentleman. <laughs> <laughs> yes. uh, I only, I only pay him so many compliments because I helped make this character. Yes, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like waiting to hear what he looks like from you. <laughs> like, oh, I, know who I, I know who I based him on. Am I a handsome man? Uh, so yeah, roll me a d4 and take any... Dose. Okay, we're going right in order. A, a woman stands behind the desk and she greets you and she says, Welcome to the Inquestlement Center. Uh, how can I help you? I'm here looking for work. Or I'm right. right with you. Uh, might, might, I, uh, might I ask your name? My name is Valkamer the Tall. Valkamer the Tall, very good. Yeah. Well, I'm Susan. Susan, um, what a beautiful name. I'm the manager. My mother's here. name, Susan. Oh, well, I mean, I think I'm a little too young to be your mother, but. Oh, no, you're just right. <laughs> Just right to be your mother. Excellent. Not to be my mother. Well, um, uh, well. Uh, anyways, uh, let me just ask you a couple of questions, and we'll get you on your quest. That's probably handsome it. and smooth. So uh, say. Sir, <laughs> so, so uh, please, the chart is down here, mm, sir. Chart. I'm sorry. And she points to the chart on the desk, and she says, uh, "Can you tell me which of these um, interests you the most when questing?" But you're not on this list, Susan. Uh, I mean, if you're looking for. <laughs> I think you might want to go with D, is what you oh, they're D's. are insinuating. <laughs> yeah, I would say I'm a fan. Oh, what a pig. So she, so she's like, should I take that as a D then? D it is. Or A. Fine. If you're not open. Listen. He'd like to give you the D. Trust me. <laughs> she says, trust me, I am not open. Um, I'm also known as Valkyrie the Curious. <laughs> Well, well, then perhaps uh, you should take a look at this chart. Uh, which of these options interests you the most? <clears throat> God, I'm so standard. You know, <laughs> Susan, I'm gonna go with uh, I'm gonna go with C. C. Oh, well, okay. Yeah. Very good. Uh, then, then you're willing to fight for for what? I fight for my love. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's that's I the only that time shows I a little bit of honor. Yeah. Well, listen, um, was it Val? Val. Kilmer. Valkmer. <laughs> Valkmer. Okay. Well, uh, I'll have you wait uh, for your quest. Uh, it's, we've had a few new jobs come in, so just uh, have a seat over there. Uh, you, you maybe make friends, and um, we'll, we'll get you a quest soon enough. All right, Susan. I'll see you in a bit. <laughs> Classic Valkyrie. Okay, well, <laughs> bye. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, Valkyrie, you walk away. I mean, do you want to walk towards the other adventurer in the room? Or mm -hmm. do you want to? I strut in his general direction. Okay. Yeah. All right. So wait, wait, what's he look like? 
What does he look like? What does he I mean, look? I'm not as good looking as you are. <laughs> <laughs> close. I want to describe I'm close. Who is? So I have uh, deep piercing eyes, mm, and I've, um, I've got a, a bit of a Van Dyke. Not Dick or Jerry. Uh, uh, just just <laughs> on the face. Uh, gold tooth, obviously. Mm, um, a man of class. You're half elf. I am half elf. Oh, my favorite I flavor. Am, yes. So I, I go both ways. <laughs> Um, Me too. Yeah. <laughs> About five, six <laughs> petite features. Mm. It looks like a you spinner. could punch me in the chest and I would collapse probably. Okay. Um, well. I walk towards him. <laughs> <laughs> and I break my pencil along the way. Wow. There All right. right. So uh, next up, a large, a little bit greenish looking dude walks in the door. He's got two uh, <laughs> mean looking axes slung about his belt. Oh All I need to do is find his token. <clears throat> I think it's somewhere. Is this it? Nope, that's not it. Um, I can't find his token. There's too many things. Falcomer wants your race. Oh, I'm a human. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Cool. He's a human. Hold on, I don't think oh, I'm you basic. You okay. would. <laughs> uh, yes, so a half orc enters. Uh, roll me a d4. The token green guy. Four. A four. <clears throat> Perfect. Uh, Cage, the marauding half-orc berserker, maybe not a berserker, but the barbarian, Mm. approaches a man who stands silently behind the desk. Mm. The man um, only raises an eyebrow to you. Work. Okay, so... um, Behind the man is another old man who crouches in the corner, drinking from a bottle. He sort of starts to narrate. He ain't gonna talk to you, boy. Had his tongue cut out by the prince about three years ago. You see, times have been hard around here. And a man can't get a word in edgewise, not because there's so much being said. But because a man's got no tongue, you understand. The man who's actually helping you behind the counter just looks irritated that someone's narrating his life story. (laughs) Uh, So he takes out a chart and he puts it on the table. And he sort of waves his hand over the chart. And he raises his eyebrow again. Without saying anything, he points to C. C. Very good. So, uh, the... The uh, tongueless man nods at you respectfully. Hmm, okay. And he gives you another chart illustrating several different types of monsters. And he waves his hand again. Cage points to B. B, the orc. Cage has a problem with large warlike creatures. Very good. So the tongueless man nods to you and gestures to join the other two adventurers who are uh, waiting about the room. Do you want to stay by yourself or do you want to um, m- do you want to make an introduction? Uh, I'll stay by myself. Gonna gonna hang out in the corner by yourself. I would just like to note that I am checking him out. Wow, cool. <laughs> All right, there he is. Just make a point of that. All right, finally, um, a tiny little, tiny little halfling enters. Um, oh, halfling? She, she scuttles up <laughs> and uh, barely manages to get her eyeballs to peek over the tip of the third desk uh, where she meets a, <laughs> uh, a very excited-looking young woman who uh, is just so happy to, to see you. And she says... Oh my god, well, are you a real adventurer? <laughs> so exciting. Oh, hello. Hi, uh, what, what's your name? Hi, my name is Cherry. What's your name? Uh, Cherry, Cherry, I'm, I'm Gurfan. <laughs> Just, Hi, Gurfan. I'm such a big, uh, I'm kind of an adventure buff. Like, I, I look enough, a lot of things that have been happening around here, and, uh, I mean, did you know that Valkamer is here? I'm already he's, staring. He's, by over, he's over there in the corner. <laughs> she looks over. Uh, gee, oh, oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, wow. And she's fanning herself. Um, and she says, okay, um, so promise me if you get put on his quest that you put in a good word for me. Okay. Okay. Uh, so tell me, uh, wh- which of these options is sort of uh, appeals to you most about, about uh, adventuring? Oh, look at the cute little baby. He's so squishy. Uh, I would have to go with B. 
Okay, oh, excellent. I'm, I'm partial to babies myself. Uh, maybe that, I can help with that. Maybe, oh. <laughs> ooh. Uh, just, yeah, just she's, no. she looks like she's uh, excitedly almost doing the potty dance at this point. <laughs> she sees Valkymer uh, cast a, a glance her way. So she's like, um, so, you know, given the choice, uh, what, what kind of uh, rescue operation do you prefer? Um, oh, well, I don't like anybody to be sad. So I would very much like to help that little boy in A. Oh, such a reasonable choice. Well, excellent. Uh, that's <clears throat> that's a, a BA for you. Okay, we'll go and uh, check on check on a quest for you presently. And please uh, tell Valkymer I said hi. Uh, okay. So, uh, Cherry, do you want to approach the rest of the adventures? Yeah, I'm going to go up to Valkymer because hey. she's telling me to say hi. Okay. So, uh, Cherry, as you're making your introductions, you see the the employees of the Inquestlement Center uh, talking amongst themselves. Hello. Hi. Uh, I, I heard your name is Velkmer. Oh, that's absolutely correct. And, and uh, uh, my new friend Gurfan over there oh. told me to tell you hello. Sorry, checking me out. Not surprised. What's your name? Oh, my name's Cherry. Oh, Cherry. Are you somebody important? <laughs> that depends who you're asking. Have you not? You've not heard of this man before? Yeah. Have uh, you not heard of me? Oh, uh, I haven't. Well, I'm quite surprised. Valkymer the Tall is very well known amongst the halfling he is, community. He's the most famous man in oh, this room. That's right. <laughs> Valkymer the Tall. Oh, yes, well, also known as uh, Valkymer the Curious and Valkymer the Brave. Oh, I have okay. a lot of names here. Yeah. But I'm also, uh, you know, I'm a fan of your people. I just want to let you know I, I was raised by halflings, so oh. I'm really, like, into the culture. <laughs> Do I know actually who he is? Uh, you've heard of him. Yeah. Yeah, I was going to say maybe. Y now that he's talking about himself, it actually refreshes your memory. And okay. you know him to be a protector of the small. Yeah. Uh, oh. Producer Tim, is there something we can do? I can't seem to get my soundtrack up and running. Allow me. I am a bard, after all. Hey, there it is. Okay, there perfect. You go. I cast smooth jazz. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So as you guys are talking, um, Gurfan approaches from the back, and she is super red in the in the face. She's blushing as she comes up to, to Valkymer and the, and the rest of them, but she's just somehow making extremely mm. intense eye contact with Valkymer and then breaking it for a long time and then making it again. Does mm. she match me in shade? Uh, she is, she's ruddier about the cheeks and paler, well, she's flushed. <laughs> got, got it. Got it. Got so it. she's a little more splotchy than you are. Got it. Um, oh yeah, for you guys, I am pink skin tone. Oh, pink. Yes. Nice. Cherry. Like a little pink yeah, cherry. like a cherry. Um, so Gurfan points to the, the half-orc, uh, and she says, are, are you Cage? Yes. Well, um, I think you're going to be part of this quest, so let's have you all gather up over here. Yeah, nobody puts Cage Fine. in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll come go on over there. there. It's good to see you. And uh, she reads off a sheet and she says, uh, Kaylin. Yeah. yeah, right here. Oh, very good. Uh, Cherry. We Hi. met. Yes. <laughs> good to see you again. Valkyrie. Griffin, it is an absolute pleasure to meet you. Oh my god. I've heard so much about you from Cherry. Oh yes, this is who I was telling you about. <laughs> well, uh, I... I love you, Rosie Cheese. I may have a quest for you. Oh, I hope you later. do. Okay, uh, and Cage. Listen, okay, so this one, sorry, um, with, unfortunately, this this is a pretty time-sensitive quest, so uh, I have to get you out the door as quickly as possible, but um, Tychondrius, the Wizard of the Grey Tower from Dirt Shallow, um, he needs you to... Escort a very important package um, into Free Church. So I'm going to send you up the road to the north, and uh, you'll meet up with Tychondrius, and uh, he'll give you everything you need for your quest, okay? But, um, Valkymer, you can come back anytime. I was going to say, you might want to wait up. Maybe you will. See you in a bit. I get off of work at nine bells. <laughs> I'll be here 15 minutes before. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So the four of you now know that you need to go up the road. And quickly. North. Yeah. I've got to be here. <laughs> I've got to be back, back before nine. nine. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so is there anyone else who has any questions or, or comments before <clears throat> you leave the Inquestlement Center? Uh, what does it pay? Oh, well, um, Tychondrus, uh, the standard going rate for a level 8 adventure. Uh, this will uh, be ap approximately, uh, let me look, the uh, sheet says 250 gold pieces. I can live with that. But I think this one might actually come with a bonus as 
because of the nature. Now, are we are we splitting in this reward? Uh, it's two fifty a piece. Oh, I'm sold. Oh, that's lovely. Right, yeah. Let's go. Uh, Normally, I'll dunk it out of bed. Work but for me. Less than I mean, a level ten reward, but that's fine. Yeah. The equestment center takes a twenty percent cut, but that's already you know. Mm. Cage, <laughs> can you uh, negotiate, please, with your fist? We do uh, not share. Apparently we um, don't share. I'm so well, sorry. Well, you know, it's not tithing time anyways, but either way, uh, cool, it's cool. already been taken out. You'll get your 250 and we'll get the... the, well, the that's the quite remainder. rude. I mean, girlfriend, I think Valkyrie's going to share with you later, but, you know. Excuse me? What? <laughs> I'm down. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. I know. You guys, uh, you end up leaving the Equestment Center without killing the rather polite Gurfan. <laughs> um, Please don't. Ah, we were just trying to spook her. And, uh, yeah, you, you're you on your Not way. Not today. And as you travel north on the road, uh, do you want to <clears throat> share any stories or uh, tales of bravery? I'll start the conversation. Sure. Since everybody's being so stoic all of a sudden, what brings you all here? Why are you all here making random adventures and, and, and gold from wayward towns? Well, me, I'm, I'm personally, I'm from everywhere. Oh, you you're know, a roamer, So huh? I just like to go back and visit, you know, help the poor people out, that sort of thing. I, mm. I do it for the children, really, and I toss all uh, Cherry's hair when I say that. Um, <laughs> You know, because it's really, they're the future. That's kind of creepy, yeah. man. <laughs> they're, the, they're the future, you know. Uh, so yeah, they are the world. I believe that. Yeah. Uh. Anyone else want to contribute right. to the why are you Cage, here? Uh, I, I, I'm, I'm having, a, I'm sensing that you're just dying to get something out. Is there anything you want to say? Not to you. Wow. Makes sense. Oh. Cherry, um, oh. why are you so far from your people? Oh, well, uh, they always said I had fancy feet. So, mm. uh, yeah, I just wanted to... Um, Broaden your eyes. Well, yeah, exactly. Go I want to explore. I have a little uh, magic spurt sometimes. Magic and I, and spurt. I want to, uh, <clears throat> yes, you must <laughs> excuse me from time to time. Uh, if that's how I got my pink skin, but I embrace it. Not natural. Uh, no, no. Oh, interesting. <laughs> yeah. So I'm it's uncontrollable. Um, <clears throat> well, um, I, I'm working on it. Okay, I'll just make sure that Cage is always between you and I. How about that? Yeah. Before anyone can get caught on the wrong end of anyone else's magic spurts, <laughs> uh, <laughs> you, you reach a crossroads just, uh, just to the north. And when you do, uh, there are three individuals accompanied by two carts. Mm. Um, one of the individuals is waving you down, and he's like, Hey, it's my adventure, is I? Welcome, uh, it's me, Giuseppe. Uh, I brought to you a quest. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> and he, he flags you down. Do you want to approach him? There's two other people standing with him, a tall, older man and a child. <clears throat> Can I make an insight check to determine if they are on, you know, genuine or if they're trying to lure us in? Sure, yeah. roll it. While he's doing Kay. that, I'm just going to walk right up and be like, hello. All right, so you're uh, oh, okay. Got a oh, right. 17. Jerry. 17. Uh, <laughs> you, you sense that uh, this man is well-meaning, um, and you remember uh, that Gurfan had mentioned... Tychondrus of the Grey Tower. Uh, and you, you see that he looks very much like a wizard, a person who would live in a Grey Tower. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, uh, huh? you you don't sense any particular evil, um, and you see that on the back of one of the carts is actually a casket, and the other cart is much more um, I don't want to say armored, but it's it's well adorned. It's it's a very uh, stately carriage. Um, yeah, and and this man is excitedly saying, "Hey, it's me. I'm a name of Giuseppe. Uh, welcome. Uh, well, we're gonna send you on a quest." He's really eager oh. to send us on a quest, yeah. you guys. Fair enough. Yeah, this is the guy. Let's do it. Uh, Ready. Uh, let's go, Quest. The tall, older man uh, next to Giuseppe is like, yes, yes, well, calm down, Giuseppe. Uh, there's much to be said. Uh, uh, welcome, adventurers. May may I have each of your names, please? I, I am uh, Tychondrius of the Great Tower of Dirt Show. This, of course, is Giuseppe, and um, that's my apprentice over there, Tabby Knuckle. Um, Tabby Knuckle will be helping us as well. Mm. And the child uh, walks over from petting one of the horses, and uh, she's holding a uh, cat and she's petting the cat and says hey what's going on my name is tabby knuckle and this is moggy my kitty cat um can i go straight to tabby knuckle very intimately and then nicely pet the cat tabby knuckle uh, <laughs> yeah so the cat is purring as you do so and tabby knuckle says oh man moggy loves to be petted you i love cats <laughs> oh what's your name i'm cage well 
well, Cage, I wish we could hang out some more. I wish we didn't have to send you on a quest because we could all play games with my kitties and stuff, but unfortunately, we have to send you over to Free Church, but I guess Tychondrius will probably tell you about that. Mm. And Tychondrius is like, oh, yes, Cage, uh, we're always happy to see uh, someone who is, uh, shows love for animals as it is a, a sign of kindness. Uh, you, you, young mistress, what, what is your name? Oh, hi, I'm Cherry. Cherry, um, those are I interesting um, markings you have about your, your hands. It looks like you may, uh, may have cast some rather um, uh, powerful spells in your time. <laughs> yes, just <laughs> embarrassingly, uh, embarrassing. Uh, That's why she's pink. Yeah, oh, well, okay. I just shout that <laughs> yes. out. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Well, uh, welcome. I, I, I hope that um, I hope that you you have your powers well under control. And, uh, oh yes, absolutely. There will be no mishaps, no spurts today. Okay. As she talks. I go over to the horses now and I start petting them. <laughs> <laughs> I like him. He's Cage, don't hurt, don't hurt the horses. <laughs> no. All right, bud. I All like right. horses. Tabby no, Knuckles says that one's name is Blossom, and that one's name is Timmy. Hi, Blossom. <laughs> Hi, Timmy. And the donkey's Timmy. name is Jojo. Uh, so, uh, yeah, Tychondrius looks at... Um, uh, Kaylin. Kaylin, and he says, uh, And you, sir, yeah. welcome welcome to you as well. Uh, uh, what, what is your name? Oh, I am uh, Kaylin Burrows. I am the chief vizier to the emperor of the Vermidian Empire, uh, His Majesty Juan Sanchez Villalobos Ramirez. And it's a pleasure to be here today. You know, my, my dad always told me, when you're questing, never work with children or animals. Oh, um, well. But I'll make an exception in this case. <laughs> I have heard that. Well, mm. you will be carrying a rather... Um, a rather burdensome load, and so uh, I'm afraid the animals will be uh, much more help than harm. Um, we will be giving you uh, this finely adorned cart uh, to to help you carry, um, unfortunately, the remains of the princess. Uh, you see, there was there was an assassination, and uh, the princess was caught in the crossfire. So. By orcs. Um. I believe there may have been an orc or two suspected within <laughs> within the pr uh, the proximity of the event, but uh, no one knows for sure whose whose hand did the deed. Mm. And you, sir, do I recognize you? Oh, me? Hi, I'm Valkyrie the Curious. I just have a question for you. Uh, why can't you take the cart yourself? Well, you see, I, I am the guardian of Dirt Shadow. I must remain in this city, uh, mm -hmm. in, in my city, and, and make sure that um, uh, all threats are, are, are neutralized and, and foreseen. You understand? Yeah, I understand. I mean, it was a good question. I thought it was a valid question. And valid uh, question, you see, Tabby right? Knuckle here, she's, she's a bit of a specialist in transportation. I and see. so she will be aiding you in um, approaching uh, you're coming, church. You're coming with us. She will not be coming with you. She will not be coming with uh, us. She, right. she will only be helping you get there. I, I uh, promise you, you will see a very tangible display of, of Tabby Knuckle's talent. Mm -hmm. And uh, Giuseppe here, while we would normally entrust him to most deliveries, I'm afraid that Free Church um, is experiencing a bit of a uh, import-export problem. Uh, they don't take kindly to outsiders, you see. Um, Giuseppe has certain traits that uh, would be seen as um, undesirable mm -hmm. in yeah. in Free Church. Public I don't know what they could possibly see about me that they don't like. But, uh, you know, Giuseppe, happy to stay nice and safe here uh, uh, between the Pine View and uh, up at the Dirt Shallow. Safe from what, Giuseppe? Oh, you see, uh, uh, there's uh, many people who are going to hassle you. I'm sure uh, a couple of bandits, mm. but you are very strong, bandits. man. Uh, you people, uh, you know, you could take care of yourselves. Uh, oh, I'm the finest swordsman in all the land. I will not have a problem. <laughs> and see, that's what I like to hear. Yeah. Listen, uh, I need a help uh, get uh, get to this uh, casket into the nicer cart. Uh, we keep it on my donkey cart uh, so no one think uh, it's uh, as precious as it actually is. But uh, once <coughs> it have uh, proper bodyguards, like uh, you, uh, we can uh, make sure she get uh, the transportation she deserve in her final uh, hours. I'll make sure the donkey is safe. <laughs> oh no, 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 <laughs> Jojo, he stay with me. I gotta, I gotta make sure uh, fresher bread uh, get brought down to Pine of you. 
It's all right, buddy. We'll buy you a donkey afterwards. <sighs> so he, he heads over and he starts to hoist up the casket. And he's like, uh, one of you guys that want to give me a hand. Yeah, I look at the one with the muscles. Uh, we both look at you. <laughs> I am definitely looking up, up at you. <laughs> <laughs> Fine. All right. So you and Giuseppe um, m- managed to hoist this casket up and you load it into the back of uh, this uh, solidly made cart uh, that still uh, bears the marks of Lucivius III, the recently deceased assassinated prince mm-hmm. of the land. And Giuseppe says, now, uh, Tabby Knuckle, uh, she gonna make uh, you travel a little bit faster than uh, you usually can. I'm gonna send uh, you uh, to the east, but you're gonna approach uh, you're going to approach the city. Uh, it's strange. It's actually uh, over there to the west. Uh, She's going to put you even the further west. Giuseppe, listen, man. I've got somewhere to be at 9 okay. o'clock. <laughs> so with that being said, uh, the road east of you, Tabby Knuckle waves her hand, and an enormous glowing sort of circle of clouds descends on the road to your east. Mm. He says, you go straight into that, or are you going to find yourself on the road at the Free Church? I don't know if you're going to make that appointment, mate. <laughs> Not looking like it. Well, let's get going anyways. I need the money. All right. So uh, who's driving the cart? Well, they do call me Valkymer the driver, so <laughs> uh, I'll drive. Very good. Uh, so, yeah, you guys take off. Uh, you've got your two horses that you can still pet. I promise. Um, good. And, uh, yeah, you... Um, you, you head off to the east. Tabby Knuckle is waving to you. Tychondrius um, simply looks at Tabby Knuckle, and he taps her on the shoulder and motions. She creates. Uh, she waves her hand again, and a portal appears in front of them, and they step into it and disappear. Mm-hmm. Giuseppe simply what? saddles up uh, on his cart and drives his donkey away. We couldn't get a portal. I know. We get clouds. I wave at the donkey bar. So rude. As you enter this mist that has descended down onto the road... Uh, you see that the, the trees around you sort of blur into one another, and you're, you're traveling through this landscape that's constantly shifting. The road never, the roadside doesn't seem to be maintaining its, um, its features as you go, and it's almost as if you're traveling at an incredible speed. That being said, and I told myself I was going to stop saying that being said last week, but I just said it. God damn it. <laughs> but that being said. But that being said. <laughs> that being said you, you travel for what seems to be about a mile and a half, but as you do, the sun changes its position in the sky as if you've actually... Let's see if you go west. It seems like the sun has gone backwards just a little bit. And you find yourself... <laughs> approaching a moat or a a small river. Um, Your cart cannot go over this collapsed bridge that crosses the river. Right. Um, You can see about a half a mile away is the outer wall of the city of Free Church. Uh, You recognize it as it is a well-known city, and the markings of its patron god are all over the the luxurious castle that stands in the center of the city. Um, but yeah, the horses cannot cross this this river. It's simply too deep, and the cart cannot be pulled through. Mm. This is feeling very Oregon Trail. Yeah, yeah. I choose to ford the river. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, so are we going to talk about the fact that the sun is in a different position in the sky, or are we just going to continue with the quest? Well, look, man, any, any time magic's involved, things get all wibbledy-wobbledy, you know? That's true. Yeah. Well, we've got something to do, so how are we going to cross this river? We've got these horses. We've got no bridge. We have a really strong guy, but I don't think you can pick up a horse, can you, pal? No. I didn't think so. Huh. Again, how did the bridge break? Can we, uh... You can roll investigation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I would like to do that. You're like Use your half-orc investigation brain. Yeah. Yeah. 17. 17. You can see that this bridge has been broken for decades. Uh, it's possibly been destroyed uh, during one of the wars that's that happened. Bad planning. <laughs> that happened around Free Church. Um, 
However, uh, knowing the geography and the history of Free Church, like you, you can actually see through your investigations um, that the bridge, although it's collapsed, it has formed very shallow water beneath it. Um, so you can you can cross on foot, <coughs> but you can't cross by cart. Um, there's the bridge. Is there like stones? Is it made of stone? The bridge is made of stones, and they are now step stones that, that cross the river. So it looks like we can't get this cart across, but maybe we can carry its contents. There is a path. Um, if you play your cards right, the three, the three taller people among you could probably lug the, the coffin. Mm. The coffin. The coffin. Not the coffin. The cart. Inside the cart. Across the stones mm. of this river. What about the horses? But then what? <laughs> well, well um. then all you have to do is get it a half mile to uh, Free Church. Oh, we said all. Oh, well, I wonder who would be across. doing all the work. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like magic would help us a lot in this situation, but no, they couldn't teleport us now. Just yeah. clouds. Well, it's not past the bridge anyway. Okay, we need to figure this out here. The way I see it, we've got a coffin, but what's important is the body inside the coffin, right? What do you guys say we cross the bridge, throw the body on the horses, continue along? Is there not another bridge around? How else do other people get in? We just follow the river until we find another bridge. Uh, you could do that. <laughs> you want to try doing that? You could try to follow the river. Oh. Oh. I thought it was a magic river, unfollowable. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it is, it's, it's followable. Okay, okay. Does it look like anywhere in the distance there would be any bridge, or is it just like nothing as far as the eye can see? Uh, I mean, there's nothing in, in eye shot. It would probably take, I mean, a, a, at least another few hours to get. Like, the, the path that led you up to here is... Uh, sort of the uh, through a forested area. So if you start going up and down the riverbank, you're going to be going through um, heavy brush and other uh, ops, uh, difficult terrain. Well, that sounds like a very long process, and uh, we might lose our way. So maybe not follow the river to somewhere unknown. <laughs> All right, we've eliminated that option. Huh. Anybody got any other ideas other well, than throwing the corpse on a horse? We could have everyone wait here except for one person who crosses, goes to town, gets something to bring back that we can put this thing on, on the opposite side and go back. I mean, that sounds just as long. It's just less work on someone having to carry it. Hey, man, why are they taking so long? What are they oh. doing? Hey, are they supposed to take this long talking about it? Did you guys hear that? Uh, oh, it. Hello. Yeah, um, that's not very uh, sneaky. Oh shit! Who's there? I think they heard me. <laughs> um. Oh. Uh, hey, 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 hey man. in the bushes. Yeah. Uh, y'all, y'all need to get across the river. Uh, hello. Isn't it obvious? Hey. Do you, do you, how how you doing over there? Um, what's what's going on? Listen, let me just stop you right here. What y'all got over there? It's a man, and he's carrying a... He's got a, a really ornate crossbow <laughs> slung over uh, his shoulder. And, um, yeah, he's he seems to be not hostile, but... But he's got a crossbow. Not super intelligent. Well, it's slung over his shoulder. It's over his shoulder. So he's, he doesn't have it in, in his hands as if he's going to fire. And he's like, okay. Um, what, what y'all trying to trying to do over there hi uh, yes our cart will not make it over this river do you have any uh options yeah you seem like a local how do people get carts across rivers around here i mean free church is uh we don't let strangers in too much but uh depending on what you're carrying I, I i'm might. not a stranger i've got a friend there we're looking to meet up with him yeah do you know who you're talking to this oh, is yeah. valkama the benevolent yeah what? <laughs> what, what who's your friend you know jim Jim Jimmy? Yeah, Jimmy. Oh, y'all know you Jimmy? Know, yeah, of yeah, course. We oh, that way Jimmy's back. a oh, son yeah, of a yeah, bitch. Yeah, yeah. I tell you what, um <laughs> That he is. I could I could give you some help carrying whatever you need to carry, but you gotta help me get in the in the free church. Oh, That's so you're it. an outsider as well, eh? I mean, I'm not an outsider, but they just don't like me too much anymore. You see, I found out the truth. 
<clears throat> I know what's really going on in the there. The truth. Yeah. Yep. What's, yeah. What's really going on? Well, you see, the church runs everything, right? Yeah. It's like a conspiracy size. Mm-hmm. And they, they, and he looks over at you, Kalen, and he says, where are you from? I'm from everywhere. From everywhere? Yeah. Well, last time I checked, everywhere ain't free church. Well, I'm not from free church. From everywhere God else. Goddamn right you're not. I hear it in your voice. He's with me. I, I brought him. I, People ain't going to like that gym. shit. This is a fake voice. <laughs> That's not my actual accent. I talk like this outside so that I blend in. Man, I can sound just like you. You see that, Errol? Oh, how did you do that? Oh, that's, that's awful it's tricksy lovely. of you. Yeah. He's just like I'm you. not sure if I can trust that. Well, I got a couple friends. Maybe you you can... Uh, I'm, I'm hesitant to let your kind in there. And with that, uh, two other figures approach um, from the... Uh, the other uh, the other trees uh, on the other side of, of the path and they look super disappointed in in uh, this man that's been talking to you and uh, one of them dressed all in black a hooded figure uh, approaches and he's like uh, you, you, you do not need to uh, be associating with this man. He does not uh, speak for any of us, uh, but uh, uh, I could offer my help uh, for uh, the same deal. We all simply want to enter the city. Mm. And uh, Classic. one one more, uh, who, Valcomer, you recognize as, as bearing the instruments of a bard. I he see. also approaches and says... Agreed. I would also help you. Mm. For you see, I must uh, get into the city to show my skills and my new blouse. Yeah, quick it quick nice inquiry. Uh, wh- what's the native accent of this town? Earl's like, well, God damn it, you can't tell? I'm from, I'm from Free Church. These two are foreigners. You can tell just from listening to them. Mm-hmm. And How'd you guys end up together? Well... You see, like I said, they don't they don't like me in the city anymore because I found out too much. I'm like, I did my investigations, mm. and 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 I know what's really going on. The church has been church has been baking lizards into people's minds, and they, they, they put it in the bread. Oh my! Cool. You see what's happening? I see it. Why, why do you, you want to get that in? I believe everything you say. Uh, the man in black says he is an, an idiot, but uh, we are some of the only people left out here uh, who have not been killed or otherwise uh, uh, banished by some means. Uh, so he will not leave us alone. All we seek is to enter the city and make a living. I'll make you a deal. Help us cross this bridge, get this cart across, and uh, we'll get you into the city, and we'll think about taking Earl off your hands. How's that? Uh, well. With a wink and a nudge. <laughs> Very well. Uh, so the man in black uh, starts to cross, uh, as does the the bard, the tiefling bard, um, he, he mm-hmm. also begins to step across the stepping stones, being very careful not to slip on them. Yeah. You can see that they're, they're not treading across these uh, at, a, at a very fast speed. And I was like, well, come on now. You got to make a better deal than that. They're, you're just going to help them? Earl, you're coming with us, bud. They could be bringing in contraband, um, t- talon band. Uh, Rubber band? C- yeah, they could be bringing all sorts of harmful things into, into my, my home. That might be true, Earl, but they're our only way in. Well, you're going to sneak all of us in then, huh? Every single one of us. What y'all got? They don't, they don't do much import anymore because they're afraid it comes from foreign lands that might corrupt our minds and hearts. That might be true, but you're going to have to trust us that what we've got in this cart is something they really want. Yeah. I mean, is it? Don't worry about it. <laughs> is it fireworks? Earl. Because goddamn, I love fireworks. The only thing that matters right now is getting you in that town and showing you some fireworks. What do you say? Well, roll persuasion. <laughs> <laughs> While uh, he's it, talking to them, um, I would like to try something. Sure. Um, I'm going to be looking at the, the stones underneath the water that uh-huh. are like slightly below, and I'm going to try to use, I don't know if this is going to work, but use mold earth to bring them up to a level where they're just above the water. Okay. Uh, we had this the whole time. It's called. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if it's technically. I mean, I mean, look into, it's called mold earth. 
Yeah, it's a cantrip, and it says I can manipulate a stone within five feet cube, and if it's loose earth, I can excavate it, move it along the ground, and deposit it up to five foot feet away. So I guess it's like sure. So you make one of the rocks comes closer to the surface of the water. Okay. It's it a does, five foot. Does it work? Does it come yes. high enough where it could? Can I just do that you're a like bunch Ludo of times? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I was totally <laughs> thinking Ludo from <laughs> Labyrinth. You're, you're literally an earthman. <laughs> So yeah, over the course of a few minutes, you you have raised and leveled off several of the more precarious rocks. Okay. Um, and yeah, the, it, there's a more secure footpath for you now. Okay. Gotta just as they're talking, I'm just like <laughs> I'm just like concentrating and like bringing up. And Earl looks at you and he's like, "What the hell are you doing?" Oh, she's a magic one. Where are you from now? Oh. oh. I can't really. T I'm trying to focus. Earl, buddy. All right. Well, listen. Sound sound normal enough. <laughs> All right. I'll let you in. He looks at you, Cage. He's like, mm -hmm. but I've seen your kind before. Vicious. That's what you are, and I know it. You're too big to be trusted. Oh, hey now. Don't be sizest. Earl. If he I, was vicious, he would be with his own kind. I, he left. I'm trying to protect my own people. You know what I'm saying? And he's trying to get away from his Earl. He just wants to be free. I'm sorry, Mr. Earl. I'm slightly confused. I'm not the most intelligent halfling. Um, but you keep saying you won't let us in. Do you have authority over that? Because they won't let you in. All I'm saying is we have much better time of it. And he points to <coughs> points to Valkymer. Mm. And he goes, if it's me and you. And then he points to... Uh, uh, Kalen, and he says, and if you keep your mouth shut, probably you too. And we can take whatever you need into the city, and we just leave the rest of them behind. Ah, I guess we can take the little one too. Nobody minds the little ones. But everybody else, I mean, they're just gonna, they're just gonna make it more difficult. Well, sir, I just don't like your attitude. The dark-clad man says, She's sassy. I have had uh, just about enough of you, Earl. Perhaps uh, you should go back to the woods and enjoy the solitude. And uh, the other bard says, Agreed, for you are a gigantic pain in my ass. Well, um, <laughs> what do you say we get this cart across the river, huh? Yeah, I think uh, the five of us could very easily, or the six of us could very easily carry this. Uh, and so long as we use disguise and manipulation, we will be fine. How are you feeling about this? Oh, Lord, I, I love this plan. I'm excited to be a part of it. Mm -hmm. well, All right. I'm with it. I'll Show us what you need to bring into this city. I am uh, very strong. No one sees what's inside. He's right, you know. Well, you cannot bring the entire card. Oh. There's, the water is too deep. And the stones. How do you suggest we go about this? Hmm. Uh-oh. Uh, look, my fault, if you're very strong, maybe we just lift the cart. There are five of us. The, uh, the black-clad man says, uh, uh, Well, uh, trust me, we only want to gain entry. Whatever it is that you carry, I have no interest. Should I have wanted to steal from you, I would have done it already. We would have uh, never even been seen, for you see, we are masters of the art of stealth. <laughs> and a comedian as well. I like this it. This guy's got a sense of humor. If you would All like right. to try your hand at uh, surviving outside the free church uh, for more than a few days uh, without uh, the patrols finding you, you are welcome to. Can I look them over and see if they are being forthright? What they're sure. Saying? Uh, yeah, give me an insight check. <laughs> That's a 12. 12? Uh, yeah, you don't get a terrible feeling from either one of them. You do get the feeling that uh, the, the black-clad man is a professional criminal, though. But you've also met criminals. So he's trustworthy, is what you yeah. say. <laughs> you, you've also met criminals who are not necessarily evil or uh, who, are, who will not be good for their word. Um, you know that a rogue is... A rogue and sometimes even a thief is not necessarily a, a bad person, but simply a person who makes their living by self-serving. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. 
Sounds good is. to me. I can give you collateral. Um, uh, he he begins to disarm. Uh, the man in black is like, listen, if if you want this to be as as almost your prisoners, this can happen, but there is no way that that cart is going to cross this river. And uh, should you try to approach uh, from the east, uh, I am simply afraid the, the walls have been closed off. Uh, you will travel days before you are able to find another entrance. All right, well, look, uh, say, say we want to, you know, to help us out and we uh, all carry with the contents of this cart. Uh, I'm still concerned that Earl over here is not really on board. What's to say he doesn't go betray everyone and we get nabbed as we're going in? Well, we uh, need him on board. Come on, Earl. Don't be a, don't be, be a doobie. Earl. Earl says, yeah, man I, man, I told you I'd help you. I just, uh, I, need you to, I need you to kind of vouch for me when we get to the gate. Because uh, I've done, I done my time outside the city and I, I didn't mean to accuse all those folks. Earl, relax. Listen, we all need each other. He is um, uh, an idiot. Uh, that's accurate, but that's besides the point. It is true, and no one likes him. <laughs> we got it. <laughs> what, what, what are we doing? Are we, do you guys want to get... Are we taking the whole casket? I, I don't think we've got much choice. I don't yet. think we have a choice either. They all seem right. trustworthy enough. Let's all go together. We're all strangers Fine. to each other. Yeah, I know. I feel the same way. Earl, I swear before your God and mine, uh, if you blow this for us, uh, I will kill you myself. As will I. As will I. I'll give you fireworks. All right, man. Come on stay now. Cool. And he, he, Earl begins to like kind of happily slog through the river, uh, and he gets to your side, and he's like, "All right, let's get carrying some shit. Come on now." All right. We unload the car. Yeah, I guess. All right, so you begin to pull a casket out of the cart, and Earl's like, oh, god damn, what the fuck is this? It's well, a guitar it's case. Pretty Earl. obvious. It's a guitar case. Well, it's a really big loot. <laughs> What's inside the guitar case? You might find this quite the surprise. A guitar. I like it. Let's go. <laughs> All right. So, uh, yeah, the three of them grabbed the handles on the side of the... Uh, of the casket, and whoever among you may want to help uh, carry this across the river. I only supervise. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And supervise. I'll help. I'll put a hand on it. Okay, uh. you're going to get underneath <laughs> it and sort of hold your hand straight up. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Now don't I drop got it. it. We don't want to squash I got it. it. <laughs> okay, cool. So, yeah, uh, you guys are, you begin to carry this casket. Um, when I say you guys, I mean just cage. <laughs> um, <laughs> Basically. Yeah. And yeah, you cross the river. And uh, you've got a, You've got a bit of a walk ahead of you as far as carrying. Uh, Bye, horses. Uh, okay, yeah. Have, can we like have them walk across the river with us? Uh, the horses. Uh, uh, you know enough horses. about animal handling that you know that the horses uh, bear a much more uh, much more danger of twisting a leg and gravely hurting themselves. Well, you could try to get the horses. They're not our horses. What do you guys say? You could. You could also just tie them. To All right, let's time here. Let's leave it. I'm, okay. I like animals. Knowing, seeing how long of a march you have to the gates, uh, you can easily get there and back in an hour. Oh, okay. It's not that far. Got yeah. it. Yeah. I right, still might make that appointment. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Fingers crossed. All right. Uh, yeah. So you guys continue uh, down the road to the east, and the wall of the city gets ever closer. Um, let me take all this stuff and copy it. As, as we're walking um, to the gate, may I take a closer look? Can I, can I like sort of scope out this guy's instrument? Uh, yeah, he carries he carries a pretty stealthily. Stealthily. <laughs> well, just like 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 we're walking. It's like it's the same trick I used on Susan in the bar when I was pretending to look at the map. <laughs> he, he has he actually has an impressive loot. Um, That's what I thought. It's it's well crafted. Mm. Um, it, he truly is um, a bard and not just a musician. Got it. Uh, yeah, he's he's from a different bardic college than you, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but he is one of your. Uh, one of your kind. Which is why he's not famous like you. Yeah, well, I would have heard of him by now. <laughs> um, okay, I want to strike up a conversation, but I want to figure out what we're doing first. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, y you see the wall getting closer and closer, and the wall is uh, manned by many armed guards. 
Got it. And uh, as you approach, Earl is like, man, they ain't gonna let us in. I'm telling you right now. Earl, long just as, keep it down, man. As long as they see outsiders, they're never gonna let us alive. I mean, he's got goddamn horns. Relax, got relax. Goddamn horns. And he points at uh, Marco Colo, the, the other bard, and he's like, you can't hide that. You if you stop talking funny, you're never gonna get him through. Earl, just let us do the talking, all right? Please, please. All right. So, uh, yeah, you, you approach the guard gate, um, and several armed men immediately raise their weapons, and they're like, Who are you now? Yeah, who are we now? How'd you even get across the bridge? We, j we just walked. What y'all got there? We got delivery. Didn't you hear about this? We're supposed to be here. What the fuck you delivering? We don't take anything. We make everything we need here. We're free church. Free church. I know free church. I'm from free church. He's did from you know? here. Bullshit. You're from free church. Did you, did you talk? Did you talk to Steve? You're from. What you know about Steve? Oh, he's friends with Jim. Yeah. Jimmy. Yeah, Jimmy. Steve. Son of a bitch. Hey, Jimmy, come over here. One of the one of the guards turns around and he's like, Yeah, what's your need? Not he's that like, Jimmy. You know these assholes? <laughs> like, no, nah, I ain't never seen these assholes. What that's, the, that's that one's not, got fucking horns on his head. God damn. That's not Steve. You're not Steve. No, I'm not Steve. He's Steve. You some bitches better turn the fuck around and get out of here, cause wait, I'm wait, not wait, letting wait. anybody in the free hold church. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You guys said you make everything yourselves. How do you make it without materials? What do you think we got in the case, man? We're just bringing supplies. Hey, that's a goddamn casket. Come on now. What, well, you we trying to pass that off? short on wagons. We needed something. You trying to tell me that's a guitar case or some shit like that? You guys need some music? I happen to be a bard. That's true. We have two, actually. We have two of them. We got a, a, we're got. we actually a band. You play anything by... um we'll play us a song. What you want? Uh, Satered Skinnered. <laughs> it just so happens. <laughs> you guys like Wonderwall? What? What the? Can I borrow that loot? That's a very nice Sound loot. Sound like May a I prismatic wall? I heard of that before. Listen, ain't nobody getting in here unless they're a red-blooded free church citizen. You understand me? And he looks at he looks at uh, you, Cage, and he's like, and especially not your kind. Too big, I can't trust you. And he looks at the uh, the tiefling bard, and he says, and not you either. Too tricksy. But I'm um, Steve. We're in the deep south of uh, of Pineview, I see. Man, look, I, I told you that we were supposed to be. I got orders, and look, I can vouch for these fellas, and if you guys would let us in, I could make it worth your while. Everyone's got to work. I'm just trying to earn like you guys. Yeah, I got a neighbor who likes my wife who says, yo, you got to let me in. I said, I ain't going to let you in. You got a problem with that neighbor? Yeah, I got, I got a lot of problems around here. It ain't easy being free. We're free church, free church. What do you need help with the most? Maybe we can help each other out. Well, I need you to help me by getting the hell out of here and bring your dead body. Now, I'm going to tell you something. Hmm. We specialize in sacred burials. Sacred all right? Sacred burials. Now, our church is the best church. That's why it's called Freak Church. And if something needs burying, well, we do it the best because we consecrate it, we undesecrate it, and then we burialize it. Burialize it. But we only bury our own. You get me? Yeah. What 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 what, what do you mean by your own? Well, you got to be born here. Mm. That's that's what makes us a magical citizen, a free church. I see. And and how would one verify whether or not they were born in free church? Well, you can see it on them. Because he was born in free church. You can see it. Well, I mean. And if he had a relative here. from free church, he deserves to be buried in free church, right? Mm -hmm. Now you're trying to run circles around. No, me. I'm just I straight relatives. He so is just being honest. I'm just with being you. honest you with you. I'm, I'm here to you're cut You're telling out me you got kin. Well, I, I'm gonna tell you what. That big boy over there, he ain't got no kin in free church. He's a cousin. I, I just, cousin your ass. My, my my dad. He was a promiscuous fellow. Back back to my friend over here. So, hey, but the point still hey, big stands. boy. Whose cousin are you? So you're my cousin. I'm his cousin. He's my cousin. Ash. On my dad's brother's uncle's side. And He's from Free Church, fine, funny enough. Well, he ain't coming in. I'll, okay. tell, I'll tell you right, right now. I'll tell you right now. That's fine. Those two ain't coming in. And that short little fella right there, you the pink one. Fella? Wow. Oh. Oh, wait. What are you, little girl? Did you just call her a fella? Oh, wow. Hey. 
I don't know where you came from, so neither. Rude. You gonna try to tr- gonna try to juke past here, slip in between my legs, and just run off? Oh, wow. Look, fellas. Scamper off into my city? I don't think so. This is free church. Free church? Mm. Free church. F- fellas, look, everything's getting a little tense around here. Look, what, what, you, what time are y'all off, right? We all go. We ain't never off. off cause freedom never takes a day off. You understand me? I do understand you, but they got to have a time to drink and celebrate freedom. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, right. we're, I know when we're drinking, but then guess who's coming to relieve it? Jimmy and Steve. Jimmy and Steve. Um, well, hey, that's great. But I'm talking right now. We got, we got, we're on a time crunch. Fellas. I gotta be somewhere at night. And I can make sure that you are drinking the best mm-hmm. of the Freedom Ale. I'll tell you what. You open up that there box, then you show me a free church flag wrapped around that body. Also, can I make a persuasion as we're trying to? Yeah, of course. Um, does a. What does a 32 get you? 32? Oh, wow. Whatever you want, baby. <laughs> <laughs> so he's like, oh, we're all persuaded. <laughs> I, could use, I could use a drink, especially one of those light ones that doesn't cost very much. <sighs> well, all right. I ain't trying to waste everybody's time here. We appreciate that so much. The three of you. Lug that thing in here. I'll send a couple of my men. You, yep. you leave the outsiders out here. That's fine. And, uh... And we'll get you where you're going. That's fair. All right. So he sends his guards over, uh, and one of them approaches Cage. And he's got his weapon drawn, because he doesn't like the cut of your jib, Cage. And he's like, I'll, I'll take that off you. Hmm. You got a burden to bear. I, I'm, I'm a pretty strong young feller myself, so I can, I can grab that. And the other one approaches the, uh, the bard the tiefling bard, and he's like, and, and I definitely know y- y- you ain't from around here neither, so y- you, you get on out of here. I'm going to attempt to hide with my natural stealthy ability. Oh, be- you're going to hide? Behind, um, Kaylin. Do you have like a cloak or something on? Yeah. I'm going to hide like in his cloak. Okay. <laughs> like between his legs. So you sneak up as, as the guards aren't looking, and uh, you hide. You give me a stealth check. Okay. 18. 18. All right. As you go to hide, the bard that they're talking about vanishes. He simply disappears, and the guard backs away from him. He's like, well, God damn, where'd he go? What? Well, you told him to leave, so he left. That's yeah, right. but I don't know. It, it, maybe, maybe he's still here somewhere. I, he's extremely obedient, that one. Yeah. All, All right, right well, let's, like let's get this done with. someone to help carry. All right, so the bard has disappeared. Cage, you're still getting grilled by the other guard. Mm-hmm. And he's like, mm-hmm. you ain't getting inside my town. No way, no how. You might be a big fella, but I'll take you down myself. He looks at his crossbow, and he's like... I know how to shoot this thing, you understand me? And I will defend my home. Can I get insight to see if he is afraid of me? Yes. Yes. Ooh. Oh, wow. <laughs> uh, 19. He's very afraid of you. <laughs> <laughs> I want to do intimidation. Okay. What are you doing? I want to intimidate him to, to leave me alone so I can carry this thing. If that would work. Maybe not. <laughs> Maybe not. You growl at him, <laughs> but he stands there, even though he's he's afraid of you. It's a five. He's like, I've, I've been doing this for, for too long to be scared by the likes of you. Now go on, get. I, I'll kill you where you're staying. We don't need you in there. Mm. Easy, pal. Everybody just relax, huh? Yeah, maybe just out. see how heavy this thing is, and you'll see that you can just have him just bring it across the threshold, that's all. At this point, Earl looks up to the main guard, and he says, Hey, man, they're trying to sneak in a bunch of outsiders. You, you let me in, and, and I, you can have the rest of them, okay? Because I'm for free church, free church! 
I have a feeling we're gonna. And he runs. He runs to the wall and put and points his crossbow at the rest of you. The rest of the guards back off, and they're now on guard. Classic Earl. <laughs> God damn it, Earl. Can I? Uh, uh, y'all what? can't believe him. Mm. Now I got the best crossbow in, in in my whole neighborhood. So so I could be a member of the guard. I can I can serve I can serve the the kingdom. I'm gonna address the actual main guard again. All Man, right. Who He's are you gonna believe? Me who's gonna buy you drinks or Earl? Everyone hates Earl. Everyone knows that. That's yeah. why he was cast out. You're gonna listen to those lies? Yeah, I know Earl. Free church. Earl's a son of a bitch, but he was born here. I ain't never seen you around this city ever before. You know, you, you, you got you got a pretty convincing way about you, but uh, at this point, um, only the the man in black and uh, Cage are holding up the caskets, and it's it's getting pretty heavy. So if you want to keep it from toppling over, uh, a couple of you might want to might want to help out. Hmm. Uh, yeah. Okay. So <laughs> I'll run over there and help hold it. Okay. Valkamer is now yeah. helping. Okay. The, the casket is secured. Yeah. And they're like, hey, you probably got you probably got some crazy magical evil inside that box. And and it's our it's our civic duty to pr- to protect the land we're from. So, if I'm gonna, I'm going to give you the count of f- uh, what's what's the big what's a number that's pretty quick to count up to and the the main guard says, uh, five, I guess. I'm going to give you to the count of five. He's going to count to five. It's going to take all day. Uh, what do you guys say? We just knock these guys over and just go inside. <laughs> <laughs> Agreed. Yeah. <laughs> as as they're doing all this, can I like? I want to like. Oh well, I have to talk to Kay- Kaylin. You're inside Kaylin's <laughs> so, yes. I'm gonna inside open. Him. I'm gonna. He probably oh, didn't even notice. No I'm gonna <laughs> open his like cloak and go from. A, uh, Kaylin, uh, <laughs> would you do me a favor and walk uh, a little bit closer to all of those people, please? <laughs> Right, so I will, with my hands up in a, in a non-threatening way, I will start moving forward slowly. I'm Just so about to where they are all in a 15-foot code. <laughs> <laughs> Possible. What? But, step. but still with the same rhetoric. Like, look, man, I'm not trying to cause any trouble. I'm just trying to deliver this like I was ordered to. And you, know, hey, you back off now. Five. Four, four, four. When he gets to a point where they're all within a 15-foot cone of me. So you do have two of them within a 15-foot cone. However, um, the the wall is tall enough. The wall's about 12 feet tall. So you would not be able to reach anyone up on the wall. Oh, who's on the wall? Oh, oh the wow, main the saw? main guard and uh, two guards bearing crossbows are up on the wall. Two 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 are on the walls. Okay. Two crossbow oh, guards yeah. and then two oh, wow. guys with uh, short swords, mm-hmm. yeah. as well as the main leader. So <laughs> you would only be able to hit Earl and one of the swordsmen, who's at the bottom with the 15-foot cone. How tall is the one? Uh, about 12 feet tall. Got it. Okay. Uh-huh. Um, well, I'm going to do it anyways. I'm going <laughs> to attempt to cast uh, Color Spray. Color Spray. With that, I'm going to have everyone roll initiative. Not a good time to roll a one. Thirteen. Damn it. Fourteen. Twelve. Okay. Eight. Let's go through this. Uh um, thirteen fortunes. Gotta count for something. <laughs> Shh, on the one. Okay. Got that. Let's go a whole other layer for him. Alright. Alright, so well, Kaylin, what did you get? Five. Five. Perf. Uh, oh, what do I add to this one? Oh. Uh, Dex modifier? Oh, we're doing it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you know, oh, wow. Adjust my sound effects. Uh, I'm going to turn down the creek. Uh, turn up this, turn up that. And I'm just get a little music. A little battle music. Uh, so, so, yeah. Uh, <laughs> all right, so what did Cage get? Uh... That's 12. 12. What did Cherry get? 14. Cool. With your modifier? Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mine's much higher, though. Yeah. Uh, well, mine is yeah, what was higher. yours with your initiative? Oh, then I rolled a 17. You were 17. Yeah. 17. Ooh, that's rough. Uh, that is Valcomer got a 17. Yeah. I got everybody right. 
Got cage at a 12. Mm -hmm. It makes sense. You had someone in your cloak. It was <laughs> difficult for you to move. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Wait, what did you get? Five. You I rolled a oh, one. He rolled a one. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. oh, you actually have a go to in your mouth. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he is in I thought character. your character had. Oh, got it. I mean, he does. He both. Well, yeah, does. He both. He yeah. does. It helps get into character. That's, that's amazing. Uh, character? Uh, <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> all, all this is happening. I like how that accent actually came in. We yeah, were joking about it before. <laughs> uh, Definitely from pre church. Pre uh, church? Pre church? Pre church? Kaylin. Kaylin, you see the man in black who's holding the casket look over to you. And he just nods, and he's ready to go. Oh, sweet. Uh, however, the guard, as you approach him, gets gets a, a real itchy trigger finger, and one of the guards on the wall looses a, a crossbow bolt at you. Oh, crap. And... Uh, 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 wait, who's he shooting at? He's shooting at Kalen because he came yeah. too close. I told you, man. All uh, right. By the way, I, I would like to point out that it's funny that we spent all this time negotiating when the whole time we knew what was happening. Yeah, was <laughs> <laughs> we knew what was going down. Can we do a bonus action that we put the casket down? <laughs> I was I'll let you use you, yeah. That's I'll an object. Suggest you throw it's, it. a, it's a free, free object okay, interaction. Okay, thank you. <laughs> it's like, all right. So, yeah. Uh, throw the casket up. Two yeah. of the guards fire crossbow cup bolts at you, Kalen, and uh, they both miss. Then the other two guards at the bottom of the wall... Uh, they attack you with their weapons, and you only get hit by one of them for four damage. Ouchies. So, uh, yeah, one of them takes a swing at you, Kalen, and I'm actually going to have, uh, let's have Cherry make a dex check, Cherry. Oh, crap. <laughs> Uh, that was almost good. Four. All right, so you also take four damage uh, because you're inside of the, the row. <laughs> By proxy. <It's>, yeah. <laughs> Rude. Good news is you fell now, on her. <laughs> there are now more enemies inside that cone for you. All right. Um, oh, actually, uh, can I, as a reaction, cast shield? Sure. On that? Uh, I d it will not save you. Oh, is that good? What's what's shield? Plus five? Plus five. Yeah, it puts me to 22. It will not save you. Oh, wow. It was, okay. It was the one good roll of all the guards. Um, I'll still do it, though, because it gives me that plus five till next turn or something okay. like that. Cool. Uh, so you're at 22 for now. All right. Uh, next up, Valkamer. Uh, well, there's a wall of people in front of me that are battling it out here. Um... I don't like those guys up on the wall. I think uh, I want to use my sling and, and, and fling a rock at. Okay, sling. Now, you probably have some more effective ranged attacks, do I, do I? Uh, magical attacks, I think, I than, think I... like, sh uh, you probably have shatter. I'm willing to bet you have shatter. I, nope, I don't. Oh, oh I, I'm, I have access to all of these. Yes. Oh, I didn't think I did. Okay. Uh, I do have shatter. Okay. That so would probably that's what be I'm a better gonna, choice. That's, oh, I also have thunderclap. Thunderclap is yeah, uh, an area okay. around let's you. Do, let's do Shatter, then. Shatter. Yeah, yeah. Don't do that, because you might attack us. <laughs> the, the Thunderclap. <laughs> that's true, that's true. Uh, yeah, okay, so let's... Uh... Okay. Okay. What do you want me to just roll here? Yeah. 13... Plus... Plus... Am I using this modifier here? So then that would put me at 21. Okay, so shatters a straight up attack, or I thought that was a save. Yeah, I think it's a save. Let me make sure I got that right. Yeah, you make a con oh. save. Con. Cool. Mm. Low, low, so low, 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 low. Uh, and how big is the area of effect? Ten, ten, feet. ten foot radius. Ten foot radius. Okay, so you're aiming at the guys up on the wall. Yes. Cool. All right. So, so you're just going to roll damage, and then he can save for half the damage is what it has. How yeah, that so roll works. that damage for me. So you're rolling yeah, uh, these bad boys. These guys. It says, it says 3d8 plus, oh, plus one for spell level if you raise it, so it's 3d8. And what is, and your DC is 15. So unless he's got a real big constitution modifier. So 16 on 16. here. 16. Yeah. Oh, it's 16. Cool. All right, so, uh, yeah, what's the damage? Ooh, it's God. quite good. Uh, quite 14 good. plus 8 <laughs> equals... Uh, 22. 22. 22? Wow. It was almost <laughs> like full damage. <laughs> I, I destroy the entire wall. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so you kill, you kill the, the crossbow guard, yeah, but you, you only seem to piss off 
the the big guard. Um, he he may not be he may not seem to be the brightest bulb in the circuit, but he he is a pretty sturdily built man. Mm. He so eats uh, steroids for breakfast. Yeah. So he's like, well, God damn. Seems like we got ourselves a fight. And I just yell, free church! <laughs> <laughs> Don't you speak that name in front of me! Come get some. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, Cherry. Oh, yeah. Um, so I take out from my little pouch these, uh, this red, yellow, and blue sand, and I, like, start to do like a little thing with my hands and they start to glow and it's colorful lights appear in my hands and I start giving these guards a light show with All my right. hands. They have to save? Uh, no, actually, I just roll 60-10 and it's kind of like sleep. Oh, okay, where, okay. Yeah, so you tell points. me the... Yeah. And we start with the lowest? Yeah. Okay, so let's go up Math, 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 math. You gonna get over thirty-two? Uh, thirty-three. Wow. Okay. The two guards directly in front of you are both affected by. Ooh. Okay. By so your spell. They, Sleep them, girl. They are both blind. They're both yes. blind. Yes. Okay. So they are blinded by this light show, Blind. this colorful light show in Let's front of them. That. They're going to die. Okay, yeah, so they're you both blind, them. and they have disadvantage on their, their attack rolls while they're blind, I believe. Okay, uh, is there anything else you want to do, bonus actions or movement? Um, I want to... If I move away from them, they're going to get an opportunity attack, right? Not when they're blind. They don't? No. They can't see you to do it. Oh. Then I'm going to crawl away Okay. From you are, you're going to move backwards? Yeah, I'm going to move back. Yeah, get out of my pants. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So you move away. Your and job two, is done. Yeah, that's... The two <laughs> blind guys are helpless to, to take their opportunity attacks. Um, with that be, having happened, um, you cage and... Uh, Valk, mm. Val, uh, you both, you've both already, you're all using your object interactions to lower the casket to the ground. Mm. So the man in black who does that uh, unslings his crossbow uh, and he shoots at Earl. Oh no, he shoots at one of the, the now, um, the now blinded guards because... And that's for one round, by the way. Okay, that's just yeah, for one round? one round. Cool. So let's see what I got here. Boom. So he does that. And he gets a big old hit on one of those guards, and he kills him. So yeah, so your your now your black clad friend um, he does his thing, and then he runs kind of he takes a more advantageous shooting position underneath this tree over here. One hell of a leaper. I'll flash him some gang signs and thieves can't. <laughs> Dope. Yeah. Oh, so nice. he gives you a nod and he's like. Let uh, this battle uh, be sneaky, and uh, let us uh, have the upper hand. So he runs, and uh, that happened. Oh, now. Do I have to roll for the search table? Did you roll a one or a twenty? No. Yeah, I you know what? Roll for it anyways. Roll no, I mean. Oh wait, how does that work? Am I supposed to? Like, it's usually only if you I roll. Have to roll a d twenty. When then you. Yeah, when you roll, uh, you roll a d twenty. Right. So roll for that. No. It's 14. You know what? Roll it anyways. Roll me a d100. Let's see what happens. Okay. Yeah, why not? We've only got two hours to play. Okay. We've actually only got 35 more minutes. Oh, no. 40. 40. 40. Mm -hmm. No, 40. All right. You regain 2d10 hit points. Congratulations. You get nothing. I get n <laughs> oh, no, I, nothing. No, I did lose hit points. Oh, all right. So you so gained four hit points back. Uh, Yay. <laughs> Uh, back to full health. Oh, wait, 2 Your, your immense full it. health that I'm sorry that Yay. was so <laughs> minuscule. Uh, okay. So, uh, I'm yeah. I'm healed. My magic heals me. You see footprints um, walking away oh, from, good, from where the bard was. Um, and they approach Earl. And this bard is. Earl's gonna get it. Real mad. 
But then they, they walk away from Earl. Seem to be yes. waiting for a better opportunity. So the bard's footprints just sort of uh, head off towards Petrail, the, the, the rogue who is now under a tree with his crossbow un, unslung. Cage, you're up. This is your time to shine. I am going to attack Earl. Going for Earl. An excellent choice. By the way, we've been waiting for this all day. Yes, yeah. I'm going to I think every attack. one of us wants a piece of Earl right yeah. now. <laughs> I'm I yell at Cage. I'm like, save some for me. No. <laughs> I'm attacking no. with, with, with both my axes. <laughs> Making sure. Hit him, Earl. Or hit him, Cage. Uh, Oh, here we go. 12 to hit, Earl? That's not a hit. <sighs> so I'm going to use my other axe. Okay. Are you in a rage Earl, right that now? that slippery bitch. Not yet. Okay. Uh, that's a bonus action, so I got to do my action first, right? No, you can, no, you can do it in any oh, order. Then I'm going to do, I'm going to go rage. Now, does rage give you advantage? Yeah, uh, yeah. On attacking? So let's say that first attack is with advantage. Yeah, it, uh, best bonus is rage for one minute. You gain advantage on strength checks, which... Oh, strength checks. And uh, saving two plus melee damage with strength weapons. All right, so roll again uh, for your second attack okay. then. You don't get advantage on attacks, just strength checks. Try to well, I think that technically an attack with the weapon is. No, uh, like strength check would be track? like if you grapple him or if you try to like do something else that's specifically. Yeah, it's skill based. Uh, yeah. Uh, 20? 20 is a hit. Yeah. So I do. Cut Oh yeah, it literally says not Sweet attacks. Sweet the lead cage. <laughs> yeah, not attacks. <laughs> uh, one, two, six plus. But I get two plus more damage. So four plus two plus three, seven. Eleven hits of damage. Eleven points. Eleven points. All right, you hit him for eleven. He doesn't seem to like that, but he's <laughs> also he's also the kind of guy who maybe you know works out in his backyard. But because I'm raging. And I invoke the rage of the wolf. Rage of the wolf. Mm. So all my people have an advantage on melee attacks against him. Very nice. Oh. You sexy beast. Okay. So he's, he's now affected by rage of the wolf, or that's just an aura that's around you? It's an aura that's around me okay. that infuses my fellow pack mm. that, to attack the, since I attacked him first. Wolfpack. Well, yeah, Earl Wolfpack. didn't like that very much, so he's going to attack you um, with a sword that he has because he's going to have disadvantage if he tries to shoot at you. But you know what? He will try to shoot at you with disadvantage. He takes his impressive crossbow, and he does his best to aim it like as carefully as he can. And he does. He hits you. He hits you for... 13 damage. Mm, I don't like that either. Okay, so Earl's like, God damn it, you big bastard, you get off me. I'm gonna make sure you're dead before you get into my city free charge. Free charge. <laughs> uh, Kaylin. You said that was yes. 13 or 12, sorry. 13, 13, 13. damage. Okay. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna. <laughs> so that was like <laughs> Basically, um, because since the guy in front of me is, is blind, mm -hmm. I'm going to go ahead and saunter around him to right here. He saunters. To basically, I just want to get adjacent to, uh, to Earl. Yep, you're within, uh, you're within five feet of Earl. And, and I am going to stab him in the face with my rapier. <laughs> the, right stabbing at Earl. Yes. Face stab. So I have uh, advantage on this? Yeah? Yes. Hot. Uh, well, thank God. Come on. Come on. Roll better than that. Oh, wow, you it did. did. It did roll better than it that. It was one better. Yeah, so I, I missed. <laughs> okay, oh. so it's like a two or something. Four. Uh, Four. No, I got <laughs> The it, first roll was a it was a, it was a, what is the total on that? 11, yeah, so okay. it's a miss. It is a miss. Well, that's this disappointing. All right, is that all? Anything else you want to do? You want to uh, disengage? I mean, I, mm, no. Never. Uh, okay. Can I use, like, my bardic inspiration? 
Cheer him on. I mean, I guess I could do the bonus action to hide, but it's not a lot of hiding places. Yeah. <laughs> In between you hide three behind guards. him. <laughs> if fifth edition don't care, it lets you just <laughs> <laughs> like I am a tree. <laughs> what? I would care. Makes no sense. I would care. All right, so the head guard jumps off the wall. Oh shit. And yeah. he's a big That's boy. That's a 12 foot. Yeah, okay. I'll have him I'll have him roll to see if it's he takes damage. Superhero landing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he lands just fine. No, he doesn't actually. He takes a d6 of damage. Yeah, he takes a damage. One damage. Still pretty bad. Huh? You hear a slight cracking from, and I go, from his ankle. Cool. I yell at him. I go, ha. <laughs> and it's vicious mockery. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's, that's, not a, that's not a reaction. Uh, <laughs> On your turn. <laughs> On my turn, I laugh at him. <laughs> that's amazing, though. <laughs> it's a very long delay. <laughs> Are you guys done? Are you guys done? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, he's going to, uh, he has this spear with like a sword on the end, and he's just going to start going after you guys. Some might call that a spear. It's called a glaive, technically. It's the old sword spear. The old sword spear, It's not eh? a spearhead on the end. God damn it. Um, It's a stick with a pointy sharp end. um, He's going to attack Cage and miss, and then he's going to attack Cage again and hit for 10, and then he's going to attack Kalen and hit for 8. I don't like this. I'm going to use my mm-hmm. thingy. Your un- uncanny dodge? Yeah. Boom. So, oh, sorry, what was the damage? Eight, 8 damage. 8 damage. So you take 4. Foul. Oh, you're in a rage, though, right? Rage cage. Cage, yeah. Cage? You're yes, in a rage, so you rage. take half damage? Yeah. Uh, I believe that's correct. Oh, yeah, resistance to bludgeoning, piercing, and slashing damage. Cool. So you only took five damage. Congratulations. You're the winner. All right. Uh, so, yeah, he made his, his attacks. Now the uh, the crazy uh, thief guy is like, Kylin, look out behind you. And uh, he fires He's at the one. very calm in every situation. <laughs> yeah, well, point out. you know, yeah. it's, it's, it's a cultural thing. Sure. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, he fires at the guard. It is not a hit, unfortunately. And he's like, we should have practiced. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a talker, so yeah. No, I'm, I want to. I want to smooth talk. So with everything. the 13 points then, but should I have taken half of that as well? The 13. Oh yeah. Uh, so you took eight. No, seven. You took seven. Okay. Let me actually log that myself. So you should be at what? 61. Five, 70, no, 65. 65. Fair enough. 65 it is. All right. So, uh, yeah, the guard is now pissed off that he got fired at, but he's wow. yeah. he's still blind. So he just makes, uh, he just fires blindly into nowhere. And, uh, yeah, he misses Petrault. So, next up, uh, Valkymer. Oh, man, what am I going to do here? What there's still got? a living guard. You've got Earl. You've got the head. And well, oh. it seems like there's a whole cluster happening right before my eyes. There uh, is. There's like magic <laughs> there is a, music to your ears. Yeah. <laughs> there's a guard up on the wall, yeah. and uh, he fired a shot at Petrard and I hit him for like two. I don't that guy. Well, I, I'm, I'm almost tempted to just try to take him out as well um, because I'm just behind this crazy mass that's happening. Yeah, let's, let's, uh, I mean, I don't feel like there's much else I can really do other than try to jump in there and stab a dude. Um, I'm more, I'm more useful getting rid of the guy on the wall, so let's do the same thing. Do shatter? You, yeah, let's shatter that guy. All right, uh, I'm gonna roll constitution, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so which, what do I? He uh, fails. Roll your damage. Oh, waiting for him, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, 15 here. 15 damage, you kill him. <laughs> yeah. Cool. I am, the only one doing anything. <laughs> Falcomer, as, as his friends uh, engage in this melee attack, uh, sitting there playing his pan pipes, just doot, yeah. doot, dooting. Keep going. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you're known as Valkamer the Bloodthirsty. That's what they call me. They Sharon. say my music is... Hey, I made them blind. Killer. You missed. <laughs> And I, that's true. And I appreciate that. <laughs> I'm like, oh, they're blind? I'll take care of the turn? guys on the wall. It is Cherry's <laughs> turn. Oh, okay. <clears throat> so I am going to... The guard regains his vision. Yes. Um, and with that... Um, 
I am going to take a rotten egg out of my house. <laughs> you and your little tricks. <laughs> and I'm going... I was wondering what that smell was. <laughs> I'm going to do a little wind up and toss it right in the center of that cluster of people so that it's a 20 foot radius. Okay. So to hit wherever it would hit the most of my enemies, which is probably right where Kaylin is, I would assume. Sorry, Kaylin. Um, but I'm also going to spend... One of my sorcery points. You have careful spell. Yeah, to use right. my careful spell. Okay. So what is what the, what spell are you casting? I am casting stinking cloud. Stinko. So each creature has to make roll a, a Constitution first. saving throw. Okay. So roll a d20 to determine your surge table. All oh, right. This guy fails. Ten. Ten. Oh wait. D tw- D uh, the hundred to just like do this. Uh, D twenty. Um, yeah, roll the D one hundred actually, because we're not even. Gonna we're do not the even. D20. Gonna, yeah, let's yeah. not bother with that nonsense. Okay. He fails. Seventy six. Seventy six. You glow with bright light in a thirty foot radius for the next minute. <laughs> Any creature <laughs> that ends its turn within five feet of you is blinded. T- wow. That's beautiful. Any creature that ends its turn within five feet of you is blinded so until the end of its turn. You better walk closer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I'm gonna walk right up to the guy in front of me after that. And then okay. Valkomer says uh-huh. smugly, "God, I love halflings." <laughs> <laughs> okay, it looks like. All of your enemies within that area fail their their saving throws. Yes. Um, So um, each creature that is completely within the cloud, oh, at the start of their turn. Okay. At the start of its turn, so I guess when it just, um, if they fail, they spend their action that turn retching and reeling. So Perfect. they're just like all vomity right all now. All right, so there's three yeah. guys just puking <laughs> their guts out right now. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> you tricksy little halfling. And uh, she giggles. <laughs> and then um, I'm going to walk right up to the, the, the guard, like right next to him, so that he's also blinded. Okay. So they're Stabbed. blind and retching, all, all three of these guys. But yeah. then your allies are also sort of getting blinded by this, so they're yeah, going to have to back Oh, no, no, no. I use my. Oh, right, right, right. Spell. Oh, got it. The blind thing. Yeah, the yeah, blindness yeah. thing is a, is oh, a surge can I, table. Can thing. I move? Not not next to Kaylin, but right above the other guard, so it's just him. You want to make sure your blinding light only affects your enemies. Yeah, like just that guy. Uh, or or in between the two. That's it's 30 feet, so you'd actually oh, have to 30, be. Oh, 30. I thought it was within five feet. Oh, is it? it's five feet. You're right. So, yeah, uh, you're going to be within yeah, right there. five feet. Cool. Uh, cool. So, uh, now. You see the other bard just appear out of nowhere. Um, and he gets... Uh, let's see what he's going to do. Hey, it's Marco Polo. There he is. Marco Polo. <laughs> um, he's going to go to the token layer. <clears throat> and he's going to cast... I think he might follow your lead, uh, Valkamer. Ooh. Bards. We stick together. Bards know what's going on. <laughs> Uh, that one's going to be too crazy. Yeah. That's a 20-foot cube, right? Shatter. 10-foot. Ten, ten oh, oh, oh. 10-foot? Ten ten, yeah, 10-foot ten radius. Mm, that's a little tougher. Yeah, he's going to aim He's gonna aim Shatter uh, right on top of Earl and the main guard there, and they're going to make constitution saves. Uh, Earl saves, but the other guy doesn't, and... I hate Earl. (laughs) We all hate Earl. (laughs) Fine. Okay, so he takes 11 damage, and he only takes 5. Cool, so Marco Cola comes out, and he's like, I am always in the fight, but this time, I will not ruin my blouse. All right, so, uh, Cage. Nice <laughs> cage, you're up. You're in a rage. You're a rage, Cage. Smash. Smash. I'm going to attack Earl. Attack an Earl. With both my axes. Again, 12. Now, Earl is retching. I'm going to give you advantage. I just, I just imagine Earl like, <laughs> oh, my God. Each attack will have advantage cool. since he's too Thank sick you. to defend. <laughs> Let's hope it's better. It's the exact same thing. (laughs) Okay. You're moving on to the second attack. Yeah. Wow. 
Hey. Oh, that's better. Okay. Significant <laughs> improvement. <laughs> that's a 23. Hit. Roll again, though. You might get a 20. Yeah, that's true. I do get extra critical. Yeah. Nope. Okay. <laughs> 23 it is. What's the damage? Uh. So do six, plus, one plus two. Four plus three, seven plus two. Nine. Nine points of damage. Got it. All right. So you hit him, and he's like, hey, man, come on, man, get, get on the blah, blah. You're going to bring this mess into beautiful city of French. And he's not feeling good. All right. With that, uh, he's going to try and do his thing again, but he's just firing in Cage's direction. Wait, who? A Cage's <laughs> direction. Uh, Earl is. Um... I thought he failed oh, to well save. Oh, well, he failed to save. He can't. He's just throwing up the whole time. Oh, he just throws up. All right, he yeah. does nothing, and he pukes all over his own crossbow. Yeah. Gross. Uh, Classic Kaylin. Girl. All right, let's try to stab this guy. Everybody's puking. Don't worry. If you don't kill him, I'll finish him off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, sweet baby Jay. Wow. Right, you want the 20 or the 18? I'll take the 20. Uh, yeah, I mean, if it's advantage, take the higher one. Yeah. Uh, is it you? You roll to confirm a critical on this? Is that no? It? You're just rolling um, you double the damage dice, but adding the same the standard modifier. So if it's one d six plus two, it's two d six plus two. Does it double the sneak attack? Let's say yes. Oh my god! So I guess that's what ten d six plus. Wow! wow. Yay, uh, math! Yay! Do you need, do you need <laughs> more d six? You're basically it's doing like a. It's some, some d six. I, I, I understood the, the word roll. <laughs> <laughs> I got him. Yeah. I got him. Did you couple, though? A so a couple of big ones. <laughs> I need you, I need you to explain exactly what a hit like this looks like coming yeah, from you. Um, going. Uh, Where are you attacking? Up through his face. Okay. Up through like under his chin. Yeah. It's like a quick <laughs> time of it. Through the, through the top of his head. Okay. Roll those damages. Was that on Earl? Yeah. Oh, nice. God bless. Holy moly. Okay, so ten. Yahtzee, dude. Uh, They're all ones. Yahtzee. No. <laughs> 20, uh, 20, no, plus 4, 29, so 32. <laughs> 32, okay. Yeah, you wow. you hold Now the, you're just showing off. And you hold the crossbow <laughs> With up the against. With grin. <laughs> <laughs> you hold your crossbow or whatever weapon no, it's you're a, using. No, it's a rapier. Oh, you, you get your rapier up under yeah, his chin. but at, he, he throws up on your wrist and grosses you out a little yeah. bit, so you don't quite chop his entire head off, <laughs> but you definitely mm. cut into his neck quite a bit. I, I, I'll whisper as I'm doing that. Told you I'll kill you. <laughs> Free church. <laughs> Free church. <laughs> and then you kiss him. <laughs> all right, the black guard pukes all over himself. Oh. The uh, the thief Petrailed, he uh, he runs up and, and takes. He's like, uh, you may uh, have uh, hate for Earl, but you have not had to put up for him for the past week. <laughs> Allow me to contribute. Uh, and he shoots. Oh, that's critical. He's also going to get a critical sneak attack against <laughs> Earl. <laughs> wow. Um, Everybody hates Man. Earl. So let's see. That's... Yeah, he's dead. He puts a bolt through Earl's temple, and Earl is dead forever. Just these two guys, right? Just, um, just a double shot. Oh, so you think. <laughs> Tune in next week. Petrard, Petrard says, Take The Zeti. return of Earl. <laughs> Earl's revenge. <laughs> just imagine his brain matters all over the other guard's face right now. Yeah. And as they're vomiting. The vo oh, God. And they're blind. The two Dude. guys that are alive are blind and vomiting. This yeah. is the grossest yeah, thing. His, <laughs> his mouth was open. His mouth was open. When it happened, the stench of oh rotten egg as brain splattering and vomiting guard. The one living guard pukes all over himself some more. All right, oh Valkamer, you're watching uh, these two guards puke all over yes. themselves, but you have, you know, <clears throat> you have a great chance to to get up and get get personal with them. Yeah. So first of all, I'm looking at him like this, <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, so now I've got these. Uh, what, what, what are we looking at here? So okay, so these guys, okay. Um, I mean, I kind of just want to go up and stab him in the face. Um, can I go up and stab him in the face? Can yeah, I just you can do stab that? Him. I'm going to go up and just try and stab him. do your rapier attack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't care about messing up your blast? I believe you also... <laughs> you well, the also thing is, like, everybody's, like, really close together, so I don't want to... I believe you have a cantrip called Booming Blade. 
I do. Um, I can. Yeah, I was gonna say. So that what is that? It's like a like a buff on my blade here. It's either a cantrip or a first level spell, but it'll basically. It's a cantrip, yeah. It'll. It won't do extra damage, but if the guards decide to move after this, it'll do damage then. It, oh, got it. Right. It's like a CC. All right. Yeah. Let's. Uh. So um, I'll cast that. Uh, well. So roll. Cantrip, so. Roll a d20 with advantage. Sixteen. Yeah. Let's roll it twice. Roll it twice. And nine. A 16 hits. 16, okay. And then, guide me here, what do I do? So he's making a melee attack with this, right? So he still rolls his weapon damage and then the spell effect. It's the weapon damage, I don't think it does any immediate... Um, it's if he tries to if move it, if afterwards, If he moves right? after the fact, right. he takes It's the more like a booby damage. trap type of thing. Right, so you're, you're basically making his armor vibrate in right. such a way that if he moves at all... Hmm. It it's like when your leg's asleep. If you hold still, you're fine. But yeah. if you try to take a step, <laughs> ouchies. Oh, <laughs> Got it. Needles. Which yeah. one did you do that on? The um, big guard or the little guard? Uh, the, uh, the one closer okay. to me because yeah. he's Got in it. the way. So. All right, so roll your weapon damage. <clears throat> uh, so what is that? Let's see. Uh, there's the two hit value, and then there's a... It's a D8 for a rapier. One D8 plus what is something. Is sword? Is this? No, I have a long sword. No, oh, the long sword is... Yeah. Also one D8, I think. One D8 plus two. Plus two. Okay. Uh, roll that shit. Uh, Where am I? Yeah. Oh, there it is. Four plus two, six. So six. Six? Okay, yeah, you, you heard him bad. Yes. All right, uh, yeah. do you want to move? Do you want to disengage from him? Do you want to, like... Oh, you can't disengage. That would take an action. He's now unsick-looking-ish. He's like, what? He's just waking up <laughs> from being stabbed. Uh, yeah. yeah, do you want to move around at all? Or do yeah, you I back up. Stuff? So if he comes after me, he's going to be yeah. vibrated. Oh, okay. Yeah, we'll yeah. get an opportunity attack if you back away well, from Well, he's him. still blind. Oh, and he's blind? Oh, he's blind. How long does that no, my bright yeah, light... Yeah, he's still within five feet of you, so... Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. How long does that bright light last on me? One minute. Oh, oh wow. So you'll have to... The whole battle. everyone yeah. the whole time. Be careful. Yeah. Got it, cool. Several right. rounds. Yeah, like I stabbed him, and I went like, ha-ha! So you do that, and... Mm -hmm. um, uh, Cherry, you're up. Okay, so I reach into my little pouch, <laughs> <laughs> and I pull out... It's a... A nice little tan bag. It's a special bag. It's not my regular patch. Yeah, yeah. It's a it's a nicely handcrafted <laughs> tan bag. And I pull out a fuzzy little ball. And I just gently toss it into the space right in front of me mm. between the two guards. Okay. And, and then I make that reaction like that gif of the dude with the mustache where it's like <laughs> like, what are you yeah. doing? <laughs> and I'm like, ooh, fuzz. <laughs> Don't pet it. Fuzz. <laughs> Don't do it. What do you get? And the little fuzz ball turns into an axe beak. Axe beak. Ouch. Uh, that is... What is... Is that in here? Uh, I'm just going to say it's a... F I'm going to say it's a it looks like a falcon. Oh, this is my time. Is that, is that in this book? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or, is this, or is that in the monster? <laughs> oh, no. That's not in there. basically like a large pr like bird with a, yeah. Like yeah, a beak I'll, that looks I'll, like an I'll, axe. I'll, I'll I would imagine an axe beak. Google yeah. stats. Might Producer that. Tim, get me stats on axe beak, 5e. Um, and it it goes on my turn, so as a bonus action, I can command it. Um, so I'm going to just say, attack the guards. The big guard or the little guard? The big guard. Okay. Classic. Oh, it's like a big dodo bird. What's an axe beak's attack looks like? Look like. D and D, five E. Should have brought my monster manual. Oh wait, hold on. It uh, has. It's a beak weapon, melee weapon attack, plus four to hit. Plus yeah, four to hit. Yeah, it's a beak attack. So. Okay. Does it get an advantage? Do, you, do I roll for him or I'm do you? Raging? I'll roll for him. Okay. Uh, yeah, it doesn't roll very well to hit. Uh, <coughs> it's not enough to hit. Oh yeah, unfortunately. It is blind. The guy, the guard. I don't know if you want to. Even so. Um, Boo. It, the <laughs> highest it rolls is a twelve or an eleven. So it doesn't hit, but it is distracting him. Okay, uh, Cherry has gone. That was your action. Do you have any bonus action or movement you want to no, do? No, that was my bonus action. Okay, do you have him. any actions you want to do? Wow. Oh, sorry. The action was to throw the fuzz. The bonus action was to command the, 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 the bird. Okay, bard friend. Um, he's nearby. Marco Colo. Marco Colo. He's like... Oh. Yes? Sorry. I can do twins... No, 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 that's not a spell. Never mind. Yeah, it, it, you would have to twin a spell. Yeah. Um, a not a fluff. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, uh, so seeing Marco Colo, seeing that uh, the shatter had taken its toll, uh, not only on the, the main guard, but on the wall behind him, he says, let's bring this wall down. And he casts shatter yet again. Uh, this time, the big guard fails his save and takes 15 damage. Mm -hmm. But so does the wall. Marco Colo has now put a, a big crater into this wall, about five feet across, but about a foot deep. It's not enough to break through the wall or anything, but it is a symbol of his hatred towards uh, free churches. That'll teach him, Marco. <laughs> All right, Marco Colo says, fight on my friends, for it is our day to be victorious. Cage. So I'm gonna step over Earl's dead body Indeed you do. <laughs> <laughs> and go for the big guy. Going for the big guy. Oh, I like this like squaring off. Yeah. <laughs> you use my axes. The big guy. He's taller. By the way, I would like to make a point that Cage is standing on the corpse of Earl. Yes, yes. yes. <laughs> and it squishes. Cage is taller by <laughs> by at least four or five inches. Yeah. Yeah. Right, I'm stomping my feet as I do this. Yeah. <laughs> Smushing it. Yeah, the all. brain going between your toes. And, and the vomit that. and the. Oh. Roll it with advantage because he's blind. Ooh, twenty-one. 21. 21 is a hit. Roll your damage. Yay. That's one, six plus three is nine plus two. Eleven. Okay. That's just one attack. He's like, hey, you think you can get the best of me? I fought bigger than you, you son of a bitch. Now I'm attacking with my other axe. Even though he's like looking to the left. He's, he's blind. Yeah. <laughs> he's feeling for your face. <laughs> That's wow. Earl's face. I'm gonna remember what you look like. Just give me a second here. Let me touch your nose. This is, uh, 17. <laughs> that is hard. Ooh, yeah, that's, that's 24. That, that is a big hit, yeah. <laughs> Roll your damage. Ah. Oh, jeez. Ooh, oh, six geez. plus nice. three plus two is 11 points again. All right, yeah, you got him for a couple big hits, but he's a resilient guy. He's still got some life. All right, Earl is dead. Kalen. Uh, I will take a stab at the big guy. Taking a stab at the big guy from where you're standing. Advantage. Yep. My rage lasts 10 minutes. Uh, that yeah, would be or 10 rounds. 22? 22 is a hit. And he is engaged, so it's a sneak attack. <laughs> Good sneak attack. Eight, nine, eight, ten, 14. 14 damage. Cool. He's getting it from all sides and he's like, I don't know where you're yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, is that it for you, uh, Kaylin? Uh, yes, it is. All right, uh, he is still alive. Just remember at the start of the turns, they have to make another save to see if they're still vomiting. It oh. lasts a minute. Oh my god, he yeah. fails his save and continues vomiting. Really? Yes, oh he does. Yeah. <laughs> Stinking uh, cloud. I like you. Stinking cloud is no joke. Yeah, yeah that's uh, It's really nasty. That's crazy. You could spend a lifetime with halflings and still have some. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Petrard moves, moves north to avoid uh, shooting at you, uh, and he shoots. Ooh, man, let's try that with advantage, see if he can get it in. It's, uh, yeah, so he he gets a big old sneak attack on this dude, and he says, You are a merde to me. And he hits him for, for a big crossbow bolt right across the face. Ooh. Yeah, that black guard, he looks bad. Um, the, the big guy is the black guard. The other oh. guys are regular guards. That's his actual token qualification. Qualifi <laughs> the token black guard. Uh, <laughs> yeah. The regular guard sees, goes to see if he's still sick, but he saves, and he's not sick, but he is blind. He goes to stumble towards the last source of damage that affected him, uh, and as he does, he takes thunder damage from Booming Blade. Roll that thunder damage yeah. for me. Uh, and then he can see. Uh, it's 1d8, it isn't it? 1d8. Uh, so let's assume, let's see, no. Yeah, four. Four? All right, it hurts him bad. <laughs> but he gets just far away enough to realize he's standing uh, right next to Valkamer. Hey. 
and he throws his... He, he shoots a bolt at him and misses because he's an idiot. <laughs> and I smolder at him. <laughs> Blue steel. All right, Valkamer. Nice you're try. Um, he's, that guy in front of you is hanging on by a thread. By a thread? Yeah. Well, I'm going to go pluck it. Um, <laughs> <Come on. laughs> uh, I'm just going to go stab him. Let's do it. Make, a, make an attack roll. Uh, let's see. Yeah, do the long sword. Yeah, long sword. So D20. D20. Plus two, yeah. No, no, do a D20. Oh, 20. Yeah. Wait, wait. Oh. Wait, were you at advantage? <laughs> no, not, he's, he's not blind anymore. So. Uh, but I rolled a 1,000. Yeah, you would only have advantage. You rolled what? I rolled a 1. 1,000? <laughs> I rolled a 1. He's over 1,000! <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, you did not make it. Do you have any bonus actions or anything you want to use? Uh, I don't know. Do I? Can I, can I, I use, I um, the, I can I the use bend luck as thought, a reaction? I thought the advantage was from your aura, your barbarian... Rage thing. Oh, the rage. If he's within five feet of the yeah. I mean, if, within he, five feet feet. if he's attacking and if he's attacking the same person same I'm attacking. Person. Got uh, it. Okay. I, don't, I don't think your luck it, 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 it works says on as your role. Oh, is it only mine? Yeah. Well it's your halfling luck, right? It says I can add subtract one D four from another's attack roll ability check or save. Yeah, if you have it as a, a reaction, but he, I mean he rolled it. He's so far. I, I like the idea that I was so cocky that I was gonna kill him that oh, I, like, I, I was like, you're dead, advantage. and then I like dropped the sword. <laughs> no, you can add a maximum I thought it was of like, four. I thought it was like my lucky. Right. No, yeah. yeah, never mind. No, not at all. Never mind. But the, uh, I will say that it is your turn now, so you can oh, do okay. other stuff. Yeah, I go help. <laughs> um. I'm gonna say. Throw a rock at him. <laughs> Let's try it again. And I reach back into my tan bag and I pull out another, another fuzzball and I'll throw it. And I yell, please, no more birds. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. That's <laughs> too bad. Toss it in front. And Fuzzy. Let's see what this one is. It's not a bird. Oh, good. I don't know if it's better. Uh, oh, it's a baboon. Oh, I like baboons. Okay. I think that one's actually in here, isn't it? No, it's not. Oh, I shouldn't have let you pick the bag. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm like, oh, just kidding. Let's it. call it monkey then. Baboon. It's going to be, Baboon. I have a feeling it's going to be a monkey that, in, that looks a lot like Cage. <laughs> and his. That's, it's going to be just a furry orc. Orcist. He's going to um, be right next to the, the black guard. And okay. he has pack tactics, so he has advantage. He's gonna get advantage. All on right. The roll, uh, and he has a bite with a plus one to hit. Okay. Man. All right. So it's a plus plus one to hit. Mm-hmm. Let's roll with that. Advantage. That's not a hit, and. Oh, you know what? It was a hit. It was a critical hit. What's his damage? Whoa! Okay. Uh, not that crazy. It's a 1d4 minus 1. Oh, really? Yeah. He's like a small little beast. He's, he's literally a like capuchin. a... Okay. He's, yeah, he's a little monkey. Yeah, so not he jumps like, up on, him a boo. on the main guard's <laughs> face. <laughs> and he's like... Ah! And he just gets, he just gets, starts tearing at this guard's yeah. face. Then, um, now, that was, your, uh, that was your bonus action to move him, right? Yeah, that was okay. my whole thing. So the bird is still fluttering about um, on the guard. I'm actually going to let the bird uh, do the help action as well because it's a bird and yeah. it's going to continue doing what you told it to do. Okay. Uh, okay. So is there anywhere you want to move or anything? Oh, does the bird take an attack then? No, it doesn't take an attack. Turn. It's just doing a help action. Um, oh, what does that mean? Does, does it get to take a turn if you don't yeah, use he your takes, bonus action? He takes a turn. He's now like, it's like a familiar now. Oh, wow. Now okay. they're like my friends that are friends <laughs> of my party. <laughs> Little and they'll just friends. continue to do what I've... And that, that was a D8 of damage from the axe beak? Is that right? Sorry. That is... Where is my axe beak? Yeah, this is the problem with giving you the items uh -huh. that, that lets you have 11 different animals at once. <laughs> is that well, we have to have all the I stats? I can only do it up to three. Okay. Well, three animals is still of quite a menagerie. Yeah, I'm only using them all because it's like almost <laughs> over. 1d8 plus two. Okay. Monkey. So he's actually going to get 2d8 plus two, which is 13 damage. So yeah, the axe beak grinds its... Uh, beak into the, the main guard's My face and head. <laughs> Marco Polo. Uh, he's going to run up and be like, let me help you, my friend. It seems that your sword did not ring true, but I am happy to be of assistance. It's that bird, man. I lost focus because of that bird. <laughs> <laughs> I understand. Birds can be quite 
is scary. You don't know me. <laughs> <laughs> I do not judge you. All right, so he's going to attack. He's so supportive, Marco. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. It's understanding. Yeah. Oh, man, he's going to attack and just almost kill this guy. This guard is so tricksy. Yeah. Um, all right, Cage. When he kills things, does he say, taste the fire? I'm going to attack the guard, the black guard again. Enjoy the taste of my sword. <laughs> I like my blouse. saying for everything that he does. <laughs> attack with both my axes. Oh my gosh! It and lingered on the 19 advantage. and then just rolled over. You got advantage. Roll it again. Yeah. Oh wow. Well. Uh, 13. 13 is not a hit. Roll your second attack. Dice. Dude, are you? Yeah, is that loaded? <laughs> oh. yeah, that's better if it's loaded. It's loaded. Oh, wrong. Really? Yeah, you broke. 17. <laughs> roll, this roll again. Uh, 23. It's a hit. Fine. What's the damage? <sighs> What is your damage? Seven, nine points of damage. Nine. Okay. Yeah, you're, you guys are whittling away at him. No. Okay. Kalen, you're up. Um, I'm going to help my boy Valkyrie around. Thank you. I was going to say, okay. please turn around. This bird is you, <laughs> paralyzing me with fear. You see that this guy is like... Yeah, I'm just going to... Finger guns, ma <laughs> magic missile. Okay. <laughs> so you hit him. Yeah. He, uh, if he's got more than... I don't know, four hit points. Yeah, what is this guy he's got? dead. He, he's if dead. you hit him for one hit point, he's dead. Yeah. Oh, he was literally. I could have sneezed on him. Yeah. Really <laughs> <laughs> All right. The the guard is dead, but the bird remains. So, <laughs> um, it's black guard. Uh, he's got a roll. Is that at the beginning or the end of his turn? At the beginning. Okay. He fails. Still. He fails and pukes. He pukes a bunch. That that God, stinking cloud is amazing. Vomiting and blind. This yeah, he's running out worse. of stomach ammunition. Petrard. He can't even taunt anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Please that don't hit me. Man. At this just, point, there's he, just like he's, 70 of surrounding he's this guy. He's flipping us off while he's vomiting. Yeah, That's like how he's taunting. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> I feel like at this point, he should just be like, go, go inside. Just forget it. Petrard. Yeah, can, can he disengage? It's cool. I'm <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Petrard. Get the eggs out of here. The French uh, thief <laughs> levels his crossbow at the black guard, and he says... You know, we should just all disengage and <laughs> leave him. And no. the guy, he just says, I hate the little one the most. <laughs> Petrard says, allow me to finish this. And he aims a crossbow bolt right at that, that main guard's head, and it passes directly through his eye socket. And he is down. Tis but a scratch. For the count. <laughs> yeah. So he's like, God damn, uh, could have taken the block. <laughs> and he pukes one last time before he dies. The axe beak uh, settles majestically on the body of the main guard and oh. begins to pluck out his entrails. Ooh. And the, what was it? The baboon. The baboon yeah. uh, begins to sniff his butthole. Oh. Perfect. Or um, what's left of Perfect. it. The one, two, three, four. Four, five, six of you are, are left in front of a closed portcullis that uh, still does not allow you any entrance to this wall. But uh, Petrard approaches the portcullis and he says, I uh, know this mechanism. Uh, I can unlock uh, the latch, but uh, it will take strength to lift. My large friend, please, will you help me? Yes, I will help you. Everyone we can get uh, who can assist you will will be of a, a very important to this operation. Please, every hand we can get. Uh, my new friend, Kaylin. Cherry and her animals. Go put hands on uh, All right. <laughs> I just stand back. Uh, Valkymer. <laughs> yeah. There's too much vomit for her. Valkymer. I'm just like, you guys realize you're standing in entrails, brains, vomit. He's Valkymer the clean. Yeah. <laughs> Today I'm Valkymer the tidy. And oh, I don't oh, want anything. He's Valkymer so, the squeamish. I'm so, so sorry. I'm so, so sorry for making such a mess. Uh, Cherry actually walks back over to all the vomit and starts prestidigitation, cleaning oh, everything that she made of himself. Let us well about uh, cleaning up uh, <laughs> later, or perhaps when the other guards come to uh, man this post, they can clean it up. Right. Uh, everyone roll strength. Do you know who you're talking to? Uh, two. <laughs> Three. Hey, you beat yeah, my two. Ten. Yeah, I have no modifier. But okay, you guys I got a ten. I got ten between two. my two guys. You get a plus two, so you have a four. Oh, here it is. Yeah, so four. Well, Seventeen. 17. All right, you tip the scales. Cage just like, <laughs> <laughs> he looks this entire oak portcullis. 
this. And uh, yeah, like you get inside and you see that there are wheels and levers to, to turn to open the, the next side. The portcullis is open and you are allowed entry. Um, the, the casket sits <laughs> outside the city walls, but the gates are now open. You're free to pick it up and bring it in. As we do, we go. Okay. Uh, you bring this casket in and you're basically ignoring anyone in uniform. Uh, <laughs> you, you enter the sacred hall of Free Church, uh, massive uh, holy symbols are strewn about uh, on, on giant tapestries in this room. Uh, the, the rogue and the other bard have taken their leave as they know their funny voices will alert people uh, inside of inside of Free Church to their outsiderhood. Free Church. You set the casket before the king uh, who stands with uh, his, his queen on his right hand and a, a priest, high priest Hypocrite uh, <laughs> stands, stands even further to his right and says what is this? These infidels enter our clean land. And the king says, Wait, my daughter, show her to me. And he looks, he looks to you, please. She should not have died for, for Lucivius' sins. Open it so that I may look upon her one last time. Anyone want to do the honors? Yeah. I guess we'll open we, we open the we yeah. open the gate. The and then I look over and say, "Oh, all we had to say was it was the king's daughter." You think they would listen? <laughs> <laughs> the whole time. You open the casket, uh, breaking breaking a few magic seals that Tychondrius had put there. Um, and the princess lies as if uh, as if she was only sleeping. Surprise! <laughs> and uh, the king approaches her and he says, "My daughter, she." doesn't look like she's been harmed at all. And he reaches and touches her, and when he does, her eyes open. I <gasps> called it. And she says, Dad. Oh. And he's like, uh, what is her name? <laughs> Hold on. That's a rude thing to say. He when... says, who are you? Becca Nissa. You, you've come back to me. And she says, Father, why did you marry me to a way to him? I should have never been there in the first place. I had to take poison to, to keep him from, from having the marriage in, in, a, in a real church, and, and he kept me locked in that room. And uh, Queen Muttermom approaches, and she's like, "My daughter, thank you so much for bringing her to me." And they, they're like, they, they signal to the guards, and they're like, "Get them as much as much gold as we can as we can spare from the treasury, all all they can carry, and and make sure they have safe passage out of the city." Yeah. And speak to no one of this. Mm. As also, far as anyone's concerned, the princess is still dead. And uh, that's, that's fair. Also, there was a when we when we were entering, there was a bunch of dead gods. We they were like that when we found. We them. don't know who did that. I don't know what was that, you guys. Um, the, the king but it's is like, very clean out there. I commend you. All is <laughs> forgiven. All is forgiven for, for my daughter being returned. Uh, you're each handed sacks full of gold that are hard to carry, except for <laughs> yours. Not for me. <laughs> 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 yeah, uh, so you're you're given this unbelievable amount of gold. High priest Hypocrite looks on uh, disapprovingly, and he says, "Outsiders, I'll get you for this." But as you do, the guards take you, and they're like, "All right, come on in. We're going to get you out of the city where you belong." And they escort you out of the city, and with that, the quest is over. Free church! Yeah. Yeah. Free, Free church. church! What time is it? It is now 10.08. Oh, I missed my date. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. Oh, I'm it, sure she'll <laughs> understand. No, in, um, in, in game time, it's approximately 4 p.m., Oh, run! <laughs> <laughs> I will tell you though, the the magic that got you here uh, got you here much faster than I you got. Five hours, back. baby. Yeah, you got five <laughs> hours, but you're gonna need Tabby Knuckles' help to get you back. I got horses. I got Tabby Knuckle. <laughs> don't don't underestimate Valcomer. All right, they call get, me Valcomer the Swift for get a reason. Get to stepping. <laughs> <laughs> Valcomer gets to high stepping back across the moat. Guys, but, but, working with you. I got I gotta go. I gotta go right now. <laughs> I'm keeping his gold. No. if I have to carry it. <laughs> uh, All right. Maybe so you guys, I have an animal for that. <laughs> no birds. You each received 1,500 gold. Wow. 
Uh, we making money. That's on top of the what two, did they say one or two fifty. Two fifty. Two fifty. Yeah. Okay. So um, let's do some outros and okay. let's do it in reverse order. Candice, what do you want everybody to know about you? How to find you? Where to find you? If not to find you at all? <laughs> um, uh, Cast hide. <laughs> uh, sure, I mean, you can go to my Instagram, but it's just a personal account, so it's just my name. But yeah, sure, I so mean, if you want to, if anybody cares, I'm on Instagram. <laughs> write, write, an email, <laughs> write an email to dimensiondorks at gmail.com. If I get 20 emails that say, get Candace back on here. I would love to come back and play. <laughs> this was so much fun. I'm, I'm so in love my, with is, this. Yeah, like I think yeah. we're all bonded now. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're kindred spirits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like so if other. you're watching, please tell them you want to see me back on the show because I love to be here. Sure. Daniel, plug that podcast. Uh, MovieMenuPodcast.com. Um, also, uh, Brown and Out, support Brown and Out 5.com. Cool. Thank you. It was so much fun. Thanks, man. Yeah, we'll see if we can link to that. Uh, we'll do some tweets tomorrow to, to get some links to that so you guys can click it and and make some donations or do some support otherwise. Thank you. Leo. Hi. Uh, yeah, you can follow me on, let's, let's go with Instagram at Mr. Leo Zombie. Um, That'd be cool. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Otherwise, you're just going to see him anyways. Right yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. He's going to find his way onto your feed one way or another. Life finds a way. Yeah. <laughs> Falcomer, Falcomer the present. <laughs> <laughs> and Michael Maxwell. Uh, yes, you can catch my show, The Jack of All Nerds Show, Sundays live streaming on the NerdBot Facebook page. Uh, and if you can't catch it live, you can always watch it on our YouTube channel. Uh, that's uh, just search Jack of All Nerds Show. Uh, the replay is on YouTube as well as a bunch of other shows. If you liked Kalen, he's actually my alter ego and he hosts hosts a history show that we do and a movie oh. review show. So. Oh, That's very cool. cool. <laughs> I knew he seemed familiar. <laughs> Get your daily dose of Kalen. I wish I could live as him always. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dude, so it's that don't one let your dreams be mean. I totally <laughs> want to be all the time. So guys, <laughs> that's been tonight's adventure uh, entitled The Princess Died. Yay. Uh, Yay. This or has been she? Dimension bum, Dorks. Bum, bum. I am Loki Hates You. Tonight, we found out what was up the wizard's sleeve. Next time, maybe we'll find out what's up oh. yours. Smooth. <laughs>